Dales, Dales. Garrett Reynolds, Unclick News. Uh, the month of November. It is November. Uh, November 30th, Thursday. I'll say my normal thing where I'm going to edit this and get it out tomorrow, and then I never do. <laughs> so, get out. It'll probably coming out like the 15th <laughs> of uh, December. <laughs> uh yeah that's probably gonna happen so um month of november same thing as always flash to the michael podcast sheet. will come out right after this one? yeah probably cool. on tuesday michael um, mogajone did a podcast where he told like his whole story of getting from columbia to like to be, america to yeah. like being stable in america and it's insane it's a Damn. saga it's like two hours after the podcast he's like that was at least 30 minutes right that was insane. <laughs> like 30 <laughs> minutes i literally thought it was 30 minutes and i was like dude that was two and a half hours yeah. Yeah. and it's a it, that's how it feels though <laughs> yeah. you're just sitting there listening like holy shit it all feels short after the magoo podcast for me yeah so. that's good that means it was flowing mm-hmm. yeah yeah <laughs> Uh, this is the beginning of the podcast. This is not the end of the podcast where we're giving away this bike. This is ignore all these. I just got here. Yes. Thank you for coming, Garrett. Thanks for coming, Garrett. Uh, Thanks for having me. We gave away hey, a bike. Ryan. This, this is month. really going right in the beginning? Yes. All right. We did this at the end of the podcast. But we're putting it in the real <laughs> Don't quick lie we to start. them. I just I got did. here. It's making sure they know why this isn't so weird. <laughs> but the winner of my complete haro sd v3 frame with odyssey parts is connor mcintyre nine thanks to your friend curb killer thanks to all the entries uh why did you choose connor mcintyre nine i just like his because curb killer shreds and this obviously is his good friend who he wants to have a good bike to shred with yeah yeah and i looked at all the entries and they were all really good but I just like this one. Cool. You, you scroll. Go. Go ahead and scroll curb, through, and I hope. Curb, curb killer is somebody who we actually you recognize after the fact that we've actually posted him jumping that fence recently. Where I don't even know where that clip is. How planned out this is. He shreds. But, the story's cool. And... But yeah, seventeen years and one thing hasn't changed in, on his bike. Held together by the power of God and passion for bikes. I think he deserves a new <laughs> yeah, bike I love because the all of cheats uh, he accomplished with this. Because his bike, he needs one, a new so. bike after that case. Yeah. So, um, hell yeah. yeah. Shout out to Curb Killer, Curb Killer. And for thanks for everyone who Daniel, Daniel Tejeda uh, getting a bike for his buddy, Conan, Connor McIntyre. Now you and got then, a bike uh, for life because this thing's good. And yeah. And the last clip was five days ago, him ripping. So now you got a new bike. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. <laughs> and he's got a family I saw real quick too. So he's out there doing it, which is sick and uh hope you enjoy it so yeah shout out to haro obviously that's the first one that bike is uh literally something that people can buy they can buy it right now right do your do your professional rider plug thing if you are <laughs> it's a complete bike for someone who really rides you know? yeah like it's yeah literally it's not like... cheap it's like 1400 dollars or yeah. something like that it's but the it's the bike also... you buy for someone to get them back into riding yeah i would say like one of my good friends just picked one up who i used to ride with when i was a teenager you know yeah just yeah. he asked me what to get and i was like go get that bike like you don't have to yeah it has like aftermarket parts. parts and stuff on it it's yeah. ready to go for like a grown-up yes yeah. exactly Not a kid. it's like you're <laughs> you're high end complete i think so. you said i think you said it's basically your bike minus like the seat and some other a couple parts detail. other yeah. than that though it's so. my bike um yeah there it is right there so uh we'll click well not that's that's me Ooh. uh right is there. it your actual frame too yep. yeah 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 all the so, high end shit. It that's ain't like, yeah, heat treated. So, the, Odyssey the parts, high end stuff. Parts, Odyssey, uh, Odyssey, other than, like, yeah, the, ODI grip. Other than the, the seat, thing, the tires so. or something, it's like yeah. all the same. Yeah. Like, it's my bike. Yeah. So, super cool. Yeah. Um, so, congrats to Connor. Congrats. You got yeah. a high end ass bike that you're going to be able to have fun on forever. All right. With awesome. your friend, Kirk who shouted let's you out. Cut back and make all these beers disappear. <laughs> Same as always, um, news, events that happen, events that are coming, videos and Insta clips, and then the uh, the normal disclaimer: we do not know everything. We do not know every single I know everything. Spa- oh, Garrett is here. <laughs> Garrett knows he knows everything. everything. <laughs> no, I do not. Um, so uh, uh, cut us some slack and uh, leave a comment if we miss anything, or yeah. shoot me an email. I'm down. Get into a comment yeah. fight below. So, get in a comment fight. <laughs>
Let's hey, go. That's fun shit. Views, yeah. views will go. <laughs> <laughs> Feed before we jump in, pop off in the comments. <laughs> before we jump into the whole thing you got here, should we talk about Source? Yeah, because yeah. Garrett's source, here. Source was second on the list, but we can move it up to number one. So, oh, nice. so um, second on the list in news, and that's what we start with. Yeah, oh, I mean that's. I mean it's perfect. probably the biggest news of the month. I feel like it was pretty like crazy. A, they did like the Olympic NBA All Star team mm -hmm. of BMX. Yeah, one dropped. Like, it was like, oh, cool, and then oh, damn. Yeah. Oh, it's just like, oh, who else is going to be on? I this don't know. Damn if this, team? Is this in order? Probably, you know, of like th that they dropped mm -hmm. them. I have no idea. Yeah. So Dakota, Nathan, Lacey, Trey, uh, Lewis, Paris, Peraza, and Mr. Reynolds. That's a and a, and then Jordan O'Kane and Big Stu as uh, the AM team. But I mean. That is like eight powerhouses. So, cinema team has like I was the cinema team was always like the elite elite, and then now now Source I guess got it. So Source took them over. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I don't know. <laughs> I might I don't know. Say. because I mean you have half the cinema team on there too. So yeah. it's, it's a little real. bit Lacey more all terrain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> yeah. how does how does this come about? Um, I don't know. I was approached when I went over there, mm -hmm. and they just kind of talking about putting a team together and um, doing some pretty cool stuff. So for me, it's pretty simple. I was like, "You guys want to do more stuff? That sounds fun. I'm down." Cool. Pretty much told me the crew, and um, yeah, I don't know. They just asked me when I came over. Yeah, I think I feel like I thought it was kind of surprising when I found out about it because Source like consciously didn't do a team for a long time and they just wanted to do like projects with people like bring people over and do the locked in or wasn't it lacy and nathan it was Were originally like, for a while but yeah. then they they kind of moved away from that and they're huh. like oh we'll just do projects with people and kind of inject stuff that way like inject dollars into it and i think pay riders as like a, on a per project basis but but they kind of reverted back. To Part this. of um, writing for the source too is we're almost like brand ambassadors mm -hmm. working through the source to help source work with us. Cool. So that they have proper promotion to help sell down the product. Cool. Yeah. So it's something like that. It's kind of a win-win. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah. And they're already doing it with Nathan and uh, Lacey. Yeah. And I think they're doing it the whole time, but like they obviously have to work with more than the brands they ride for. Yeah. And then... Um, are they doing Battle of Brands this year? I heard something uh, about I'm that. I'm not sure. Yeah. No. Yeah. Are you guys reigning champs or was that the previous year? Uh, we didn't even win. You didn't win? No. I thought you guys won that. The, no. the COVID year. No, I don't think no? so. All right. I Fair think enough. we got second or third. All right. Is there going to be team trips? Uh, I believe so. That, oh, yeah. was, that, hint, was, that was like one of the main reasons I wanted to ride for because it was like, this looks like, like talking, a fun... they're like, we just want to do fun stuff. And I was like, that's like what I'm about. That sounds awesome. Yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah. Van with this crew for like 10 days anywhere yeah, yeah. sickest yeah. video ever van like, please do it van and a van with this crew <laughs> is van gonna be <laughs> i don't know annou Maybe. van announces i would assume source. i would assume van had to be involved in some sense that's but... very them that yeah. if we did a trip they'd just bring van because he's van omen yeah that'd be he's sick like, yeah, why is he right. here like why know, wouldn't he be here van omen. <laughs> he should be here hell yeah I'm van omen this is my 75th road fools oh, yeah. it's one of the most <laughs> one of the most epic well-rounded teams yeah that's cool man. most love it yeah, yeah it's like to be a part of it and the way they rolled it out just one a day you know it kept yeah. going and you're mm -hmm. like when is it gonna a little stop? anticipation so, yeah, for everyone so. and um, uh very unexpected too yeah yeah uh, it's like to see what's coming and uh shout out to the source for all they do um yeah I th what's going on do they still have the park in louisville or do they um I, they still have the park but i think they're in the process of remodeling it or something okay yeah, yeah. all right cool the yeah. source is killing it then yeah they got yeah this going like they're just dominating in europe as far as mail order yeah. they have to they're so big they have to have a warehouse in the middle of america too yeah it's like a ups that's you huge. know like they, it's yeah. in because when dance Louis... comp was huge they didn't have like a separate warehouse in europe no like yeah no mail order has been this big yet. no yeah i think it, and it's like one of those things where it's like they purposely have it in louisville because that's where ups is yeah mm. so it's, it's like, like i think was it two or three day to every single part of whatever in the country yeah so damn. it's like the apps it's like and the, they have a it's the hub one. yeah they have a germany warehouse too i'm pretty sure damn yeah pretty insane shout out to shout out to source move yes. on from that uh i'm gonna Riley. chug this real quick because i didn't chug one in the last oh. i forgot i owe 28 are you, are you gonna do two no <laughs> maybe go 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 <laughs> 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 i'm not doing one this time i did one go ahead and keep, you can keep going uh riley smith uh we the people pro um he was out for an injury for a, a little while but good to see he got the uh 
bump up. I don't know if we have. Let me turn on the audio here. But cute little cake from Mr. Crook. Dan Cake. Brings him just to me. It's in a Krispy Kreme box. I didn't realize that. Uh, what? <laughs> 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 Somebody's about to do something on a rail back there too. Like, right. What's going on? So that's sick. There's uh, there's, we got some Riley clips coming later in the episode. So move on. He's yeah. been killing it. And they're been look killing it. This, Riley's the man. This uh, Excel where's he sheet. from? Is he from? Uh, he's LA? from like Washington, I yeah. believe. Oh, and he lives in LA now, or is he? He lived in San Diego for a while. I rode with him a little bit, and then uh, he moved to LA. Nice. Um, good spot to <clears throat> approach your rider. Oh, what? is that that is not the correct thingy my bob oh may have blown it here um it was supposed to be the uh the bloom did this cool little article with uh can you let that cat out sorry with nikita about competition anxiety and i just found it super super interesting but uh the link is bad so uh we will just use this moment to plug Bloom's calendar, which I was going to do, which is pretty rare. Printed calendar. That's cool. Of all the, of all the ladies of BMX, a um, bunch of cool photos and stuff like that. So 20 bucks, get you something that That's lasts sick. for a year. Calendar is always a great Christmas and, gift. And I'll Stay fix, organized. And I'll fix that calendar. link. If you don't use your phone. Um, I'll fix that link and then, uh, you can check out that article. It is cool. Just because Nikita, you know, she has that, the, I'm blanking on the name of it, but it's like the brain logo where she's oh, okay. just, uh, yeah, yeah. like, she just, she's been huge into being an advocate for mental health and stuff like that. And I think, you know, competitions and anxiety and all that stuff is, it's probably real. Oh, got, yeah. absolutely. So, yeah. You know, like I think you alluded to that a little bit at X games this year. You're like this sucks. So, nah, I don't think, I mean, you know, yeah. I don't think it sucks. I think it's just hard. Yeah. And yeah. just like sit around for like seven, eight minutes and then get cold and try to do the hardest shit you can do. Get in your head for seven yeah. or eight minutes and see listen to people talk you up. Yeah. <laughs> Can Garrett do it? And even before that, like four days of practice, like you just, you're yeah. there staying in a hotel just for this one day. Yeah. It's like, or sometimes you got to qualify or whatever. Absolutely. But. Yeah. I think it's just weird as riders. We're so used to being on our own schedule. The, even this like super chill schedule, like you get like four hours of practice and then this day you got to ride at this time. You're like, this is crazy. Dude. Yeah. Like yeah. it's really nice. I don't want to ride at sunset. At I'd rather ride great. at five, yeah. dude. Come on. <laughs> um, the winners of the Olympic uh, Challenge, Street Challenge video competition. Damn. Um, Melville Smith. So they get um, to go to Paris? They get to go to Beijing, I believe. Or Shanghai. So what do they do there? Um, I think or... this is Olympic qualifier. I think it's just... Oh, that was damn. crazy. They used to do that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, I think, you know, it's people from all over. So I think... Uh, and there was a bunch of different categories too. Yeah. So, so this is the female park winner. Cool. Which is pretty crazy. So And they all go to Beijing to they yeah. go to Beijing. I oh, think yeah, they just I think there. they just hang out. I don't think they have to do much. I think it's just an experience. That's cool. Free trip to Beijing. I'm sure Milky's gonna probably extend that ticket. Yeah. You know? So oh, for sure. <laughs> it's funny because the rules definitely said like helmet. You know, really? but I don't think they gave a shit. So. Yeah. It's probably something they just have to have in there. Yeah. We're going to disqualify Damn, that's him. That's sick. Yeah. Oh, dude. Sh this girl shreds. I don't know if we've... I, I don't know if I'm familiar. I'm going to see... Where's if... she from? Uh, I'm not exactly positive. My Let's homie from out. Greece sh uh, showed me some footage of her. We don't... Is that her? I don't feel like that's her. I think <laughs> maybe that's who <laughs> filmed it. Yeah, that didn't look like her. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, they they got their tagging wrong. Yeah, they messed that one up. <laughs> <laughs> that lady looks like she shreds too, though. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh. And then Tommy Crail, of course, with the on the dirt side. It was funny because when we, when we checked it originally, I had like one entry, you know. So uh -huh. and then obviously backflipping that chasm of a jump, probably that wins. <sighs> Those and trails then, look uh, awesome. And then internet. Uh, what, what am I doing here? Sorry, my I, I haven't really turned my brain on yet. I don't think. It's all right. Good time of the day to do it. Yeah. 
end at the very end. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think we watched this one. So, Dirt Women's w- winner, uh, Michelle Neonerner. You say that, but um, Michelle congrats Neuner, to all them. That's I'm cool. Saying, just like you yeah. did. Yeah, congrats. <laughs> Olympics sending a bunch of people to Beijing, cool little contest or Shanghai. We don't or know. Shanghai somewhere in China. Um, two apps have popped up. Well, one's one's a little bit older. I'm gonna do a screen record. Uh, is first one is Pulled BMX app, which is uh, um, it's kind of like a game mobile game of bike thing by uh, by Andrew Riser, life, lifetime BMXer up in the Northwest. Um, it's kind of like a game of bike. I'm gonna read. Uh, what he sent over i've checked it out a little bit i have an account on there uh it's kind of just uh is a competitive bmx social network where you can play real games of bike with anyone and anywhere and it's completely free um other app users compare clips and vote whether tricks were pulled making everyone part of the process voting is done fairly and accurately by touching and holding the desired part of the screen to zoom in slow-mo that's um, fun yeah you can battle in as many games simultaneously as you wish multiplayer matches pulled assembles and edits your matches in a street fighter two style uh with like one round at a time so it like automatically edits it for you um and you can mark your clips as new learns and kind of just uh treat it as like a diary of progress and stuff like that so that's um, sick. pretty cool oh, yeah. pretty cool idea they're looking for people to sign up and and do cool stuff and then so a link to that will be in the description along with uh everything else and then uh, the next That's one rad. is uh, John Bolgens started an app called Time BMX, which uh, looks like it's like kind of a social networking thing. Uh, I'm recording on here, so we'll, we'll be able to see it. But like, I feel like a lot of people are going to start making Bryce apps is on soon. there, and Logan Martin's on there, and so like he marked like which parks he rides and stuff like that. And I think uh, um, it has like an event calendar and things like that and parks around your area oh, that's cool so, like it actually lists the lemon grove park which is a winner around here love but, that place yeah have you been there <laughs> it's better than what it was before it <laughs> yeah. was just nothing <laughs> <laughs> it's better than nothing yeah. but they have a lot of events and stuff like that so a lot of the the nitro events a lot of race focus right now but i think the goal is to do a bunch of everything so um uh got a little one sheet here uh users create an account to be able to build their own profile and follow others uh post a, post a bio tag their favorite riding spots and any events they're attending um said so six thousand location database of riding spots etc and then i think the goal that's pretty cool it kind of can help you if you don't if you live in an area where there's not much of a scene or you don't know how to like meet other riders yeah, yeah. kind of like a spot app but like a spot app like with people involved yeah, yeah. to spot get involved and crew. with this scene yeah. yeah it's really cool i think that's a super smart idea yeah if you like, live somewhere you're like and you just got into riding you're like who yeah. else rides out here jump on that what app parks are the sessions at what's the app called uh, time bmx time bmx yeah so shout out to pulled and time i, I think it's uh yeah they're stuff both cool. like that is is uh pushing you know the, we need all of that stuff it's all part of the ecosystem that, yeah so. there's something special about bringing people together yeah um so yeah and i feel like a lot of like the worst thing is if you live somewhere and you just don't have a scene that's how so many people yeah. fall out of it yeah so i think that i think that's the idea apps, for, especially for pulled like... bmx is like if you you don't live in San Diego. You don't necessarily have people on your level. You can compete with people that are on your level and 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 keep it on, keep yourself engaged and progressing. Yeah. You know? So, um, from there, uh, apparently Daniel Durs is selling his park to well somebody wrote, what <laughs> somebody wrote selling to park China. to scooters <laughs> and moving to china did, 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 did michael write this did he have your computer my, to get this? i don't know i think maybe james wrote that um so the reason we found out Whoa, about this that's is, crazy is, is, though because there's like a huge scene that lives there because of yeah. daniel dares's park daniel dares's park yeah so like a bunch of people qualified for the olympics or the, they're doing that kind of stuff the scooter farm, which I guess is based in San Diego. Yeah. James was here for, for Turkey Jam and he just went in and they were just talking about buying Daniel Durs's park randomly. And he was like, what? So, and they told him that they are, they, yeah, I guess they have like a shop in there for a while and then now they're going to take it over. And, um, I asked Kyle about it and he said that Daniel's been splitting his time a lot between Venezuela and China. So it just makes sense. So he's not, he's not involved in the daily basis of it and, and, uh, just maybe time to move on. And I guess Red Bull was like helping sponsor the park Mm -hmm. for a year or so. 
um for like nikita and, and all those people so yeah i don't know i'm sure it'll still be a hub for bmx too it just it, maybe it's just yeah that much well that area is an amazing fun. place yeah. where well at least where foley lives it's so cool yeah but i'm just thinking of that like little his park is like a hub people like move there to train yeah. for the i mean Olympics. paris moved there angie, angie moved, moved there. there hannah moved there justin dowell moved yeah. there yeah so I want that yeah, little yeah. scene's gonna have to split up. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, back to San Diego. I mean, I'm sure indoor parks, even if the scooter people are running it, they're gonna let whoever come in and yeah. ride it. Yeah. The True. only thing is, they might change the design. True. Yeah, yeah. that's. A, I feel like it was like made to train for the Olympics. You know, a lot of those scooter dudes kind of like the same stuff. They might it just, just leave it. Depends yeah. on the styling of that company. Depends I guess. on budget too. Yeah. You buy a whole park or you take over a whole park. It could be just like maybe we're gonna save up some money first before we change yeah. it. Yeah. So it could could be a little while. So. Who knows? Who knows? It could go anyway. It could be this: the scooter farm buys it, and they still let whoever Justin Dowell. I'm sure, I'm sure they it, will. You know? yeah. That would like, be. Yeah. I mean, to get into the indoor skate park world, and then just not allow everyone. Yeah, imagine. Seems yeah, like or imagine sentence. they just don't let skaters in. <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> I don't think skaters would go to that park. Either. Yeah, I don't think so either. Really. Yeah, they probably like two every <laughs> once in a while. <laughs> Resi spine sick. Um, his stand, Brian his stand memorial. Um, this is something pretty cool is uh mike purcell from ride pa bmx set up a gofundme and raise money for a memorial mural for his stand to be painted by a local artist and a new feature on the ninth and poplar diy um so pretty cool just uh they did a a gofundme for a little while and then the, and then they raised money pretty quick so I, that's super sick yeah i haven't thought about his stand for a while and i was like that's that's super pretty good dude. yeah just to keep Listen just to you. keep them you know to keep the memory yeah. going keep, and yeah. stuff like that and then i was like uh, let's watch a couple seconds of his stand so he uh was a savage this first clip is absolutely insane. oh my god oh classic. i've the seen te I the temple gap behind yeah. that yeah, it's in philly yeah or I rode by oh, that and someone's like god. that's a spot you might like and i was like hell no hell no <laughs> Damn, um, that's that spot. Yeah. I was like, why are you even pointing that out? I don't know. Because <laughs> Brian tried it. <laughs> yeah, because we knew these dudes and they were trying it too. I was like, Dennis is crazy. He'll try. <laughs> no, it was when I was just there recently. Someone, uh, oh, recently? Someone yeah. recently. Oh, wow. Took me to it and I was like, you're fucking crazy. I kind of looked at it, but I was like, no. <laughs> this dude's an ape. Yeah, he was, dude. Yeah. So just a just a uh, not so gentle reminder of 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 Histan. He was uh, a sender, but also super super talented. Oh yeah, I never met him, and I remember hearing that was sick. No foot of the table out of the manual. Ruben esque. Damn, he had a rad style. Seeing a lot of this stuff in real life too, it was just like that gap is so big in real life. Like, you can kind of tell, tell but that you, gap is big. It's dude. so much different though from Yo. behind. <laughs> oh death. <laughs> so rest in peace, dude. Yep. Yeah, yeah. R.I.P. Um, next up, Jason Watts off a of cult. Uh, this one surprised me. Yeah, yeah. And on and on Huffy Huffy. Ooh, sick. Why isn't Huffy starting a yeah? Huffy starting a company again, and Jason's they, involved. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I thought it was Dino. He's getting like, <laughs> no, it's Huffy. <laughs> Huffy Mag Australia. It's, I think it's Magna. Magna Huffy. Yeah. I've never like, even heard of that one. <laughs> Magna was a classic around here for the the like the the Walmart bikes. Oh, okay. Magna. Yeah, one of those yeah. brands. Yeah, it says unfortunately all good things come to an end, and today is the end for me and Colt Crew. Uh, it was strictly a personal choice to move on from the brand that's helped and supported me for over uh, the past five years. I had an absolute greatest memories. I've had the absolute greatest memories and trips with all the dudes. I'll miss them for sure. Can't thank Robbie enough for all the things he did for me. Nice. It'll be good to <laughs> see him. See I'll send you a frame. <laughs> <laughs> I love how we could just, it's Jason. So it's like, he could say anything. Everyone else is like, huh, I wonder what's going on. That's yeah. crazy. It's yeah. Like, I can't wait to see what it's, him and Huffy do together. <laughs> He's gonna get on something sick. I feel like every, no shit. Everyone loves no Jason. shit. You know, he's one of the coolest people in BMX, and also like one of the hardest working. Yeah, from yeah. He like builds a front, scene behind, as well. Yeah. Yes, runs those man. ACT jams. If it rains, he'll put them into a fucking thing. Right. Yeah. yeah. He fixes everything. Makes swamp fest. Yeah. One of the best humans. Um. So yeah, interesting. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. It is crazy, I definitely though. checked his last video and then downloaded it, and I was like, "What frame is that?" And I was like, ah, "It's still the same cold." I'm gonna pull yeah. a fudger here. <laughs> I know exactly what's happening, but you guys aren't gonna get it. Out of me. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't know. Huffy I for sure. It's Huffy. 
Um, this fiend. is kind of this is probably kinda, fiend. This is our first. Garrett's not gonna this say is anything. our first. Ever. I offered it. You did. <laughs> did Turned you? you down for yeah. Huffy. Now he's got something in the works. Nice. I don't know what. Oh. So yeah, good do. things coming for Jason. That's, that's, yeah, you do. Look at you. You turn. I don't know. I really, I really don't. <laughs> you turn it down. You turn it down, Gary. It's Huffy Dog. Damn, that'd have been the first transition rider Walmart on Fiend. Bucks. Well, Jason's all around. He, he can do everything. Huffy's got deep pockets, dude. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that's a thing. He need, Whoa, almost did it. He's again. gonna build up the. Take that right, money. Beer's got to go over here. Do good almost, things. With it. Almost wrecked it. Um, first ever TikTok link. Whoever added this in there. <laughs> uh, that's, that's amazing. A 12 year old. Triple backflip at 12 years old. That is crazy. That Pretty is awesome. Insane. Really awesome. Um, and then yep. look what comes up after on TikTok. What, what are these videos? I have no idea. Let's not go there. I literally, <laughs> I, we, we have a TikTok. That, that's the lady from before. We, we have a TikTok. We have a TikTok, y'all. 3,000 followers. Nice. Yeah. That's good. Um, <laughs> Getting in there. I was with that kid when that kid lived in San Diego, and I went up to go film him do the first ever double backflip in front of his house. How old was he then? Dude, he had to be like Nine. seven or eight. Seven or, or eight. Or something <laughs> insane like crazy. that. I did not feel comfortable. Yeah, yeah, I would, he I sent either. it a couple of times, and it was like it was wild. And yeah. he never ended up pulling it at that point. I think he ended up pulling it at like Travis's house or something. And so I never did anything with the footage. And the parents are just confident, like he's got it. They're just they have, uh, just support him. It's the I'm not. I'm, <laughs> must be some wild. You know, people. you know what I mean. I'm, I'm, I'm as a parent, I'm say this with zero disrespect. But remember when we had the Chi thing, where I was mm -hmm. like, it's not his only one. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of kids. Yeah. Is that how you got that theory? No, no, <laughs> but it just solidifies that theory. Like, there's a, the Chi one when, when we did chat. I was like, there's no way that's his only kid. He wouldn't <laughs> let your only kid do that. It's like shit. number 14. They're like, yeah, they fucking have, get it, Chi. They have five of them. I bet Chi's like, well, an only got, child. I got four left. They're like, <laughs> you know? one of these 18 kids is going to be super fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and if he's not, we got, we're still got yeah. 17 more. Send them in. So. But um, shout out to Connor Stiff fuck, doing a dude. triple he is, backflip. He has been dude, that is insane. He is a cool ass kid, super nice, and he is he does have the skill, man. He's not just like he can ride the bowls and air shit, and he rides those park contests. He's not just like a just jumping yeah, that resi. A resi at 12 kid. years old is <laughs> ridiculous. Yeah. That thing's huge. I, yeah, our Willie's mom did it too, though. Jumped it, right? Didn't she? I can't remember. She I, did it. I remember the, him saying something about it. Or something like that. Um, <laughs> Probably. That would be such a crazy situation to put your mother in. <laughs> right? Go ahead. You, you do it. only have one of those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Sometimes a couple. True. True. Uh, REA, S&M Pro. This, this was one of my favorite video parts from a young up-and-comer in a long time. Yeah. We'll give it a little volume for us, but we may have to turn it down for the... Uh, there was a time code on this, but I forgot. Do you watch this yet, Garrett? Yep. It's just really well rounded. Yeah, this I mean, this kid is like BMX to the core. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that's why like a lot of people really enjoy his riding. Mm hmm Yeah, I think most of it was filmed in like one northwest trip and then there's just some out of town clips scattered in there. It's yeah, a, it's like his dirt riding is I don't know what's better, his dirt riding, street riding or park riding. It's just all sick. How <laughs> he's fifteen? No, he's or maybe he's but. he's young. He's, I don't know his age. Yeah, look at the, everything is. Flower. He's younger than he looks because he's kind of a big kid. Yeah, he looks like he could be the bouncer at the bar for sure. Dude, look at all his trick selection is amazing. Straight into that. Yeah. No, I saw there was like an Instagram quick, like you know, reel, and yeah. I was like, oh, that's cool, nice, welcome to pro. And then I, I was on one of the websites and was like oh watch it again .com. probably yeah either that or dig that's pretty much my go-to <laughs> show might have been dig i'm just, just joking kidding. i don't care i know but then i watched it and it's like nine minutes long and i was yeah. like what the yeah. fuck yeah is that the same rail you rode right yeah the same i think it was the next day or something because we he didn't know that and then Stu's like sent me the clip and i was like fuck yeah you better use that so very hell cool. yes Watch that whole video if you haven't yet, because yeah. that's a great one. All around ripper. And it, I wonder how much of it is a Shad influence, but he seems to be like a huge fan of like older like BMX, BMX history. Yeah, and like no, you it, can like, you can kind of see it in his yeah, writing for yeah. sure. Like even like the way his video parts, are, I feel like they're very early two thousands. Mm -hmm. 
Or like now I feel like you run into videos, it's a lot of one style of riding, mm-hmm. not all of it mixed together. Yeah. And then uh Vans posted that he's also yep. got a f- on global flow. A f- official flow team. Okay. He was getting a I think like goods kind of like shop hookup and they would give him Vans. So he's yeah. you know, and they're like he's officially on flow. So cool. that's a, that's that's pretty big deal. Like, yeah. Yeah. So bright future. Yeah, you don't hear like they don't really make that announcement too much, you know. Yeah, like, yeah. Sometimes. I always think when I, whenever the word global is in there, I'm like, oh, that's like they. It's like yeah. real yeah. flow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they, they had to talk to some people and be like, we're putting this kid on. He's coming up. Yeah. Okay. He, he's ours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's he's been claimed. Stay away. But hell yeah, that video part's awesome. Um, S and M, good go- good call grabbing him. We're definitely all over the spectrum here, but I thought I thought this was like newsworthy. It's funny because this dude. Remember this guy, Ola B. I remember him, and yes, and he was huge on YouTube, and he just stopped posting, and this is way before I knew anything about YouTube, and me and my friends even, like, were looking at this, like, why did he stop posting? Because we were looking at other BMXers that were, like, what do they do in YouTube? And we saw him, and he just stopped one day, and all the comments were like, Ola, what happened? What happened? Like, he's huge. Like Two million subscribers. Yes. He said... He said in his 120 like, million views. That was like he's like, oh, that's the most viewed BMX video. I'm like, that's yo. Crazy. But yeah, uh, he has a little like. Breakdown. And his videos are good too. He's like, just random, just good-hearted bullshit. He's, he's a good. A, he seems a like a genuine dude. Yeah, I mean, he definitely like. It's always like I don't know. This is always the thing where I talk about where it's like, you start doing different stuff and then you all of a sudden you end up here. You know what do you like, mean? What, like you're riding a skinny bmx bike or a skateboard bmx yeah, bike you know like i like, feel like that's what yeah. like the youtube world is mostly kids from what i understand yeah. so it's like that's definitely engaging to a kid like i've never seen a bike like that yeah it's, it's entertainment you know yeah. yeah the bmx bike. look at those forks <laughs> well i'm sure dude he's got so <laughs> many <laughs> <laughs> it's probably hard for him he has so many you see which subscribers. Ones I watched he's some. had a million view videos but they're just they're going down you know he's probably like what the fuck i'm over this yeah i, I mean, kind of see it now burns out for sure but because <clears throat> you got to keep reinventing yourself just like pro riders have to yeah it's like, he said in that video that he uh ran out of ideas too he's like i felt like i did everything and he's like all right that's cool you know like but i guess uh he's just gonna do whatever he wants and just i guess he's into it but i mean nice. he took uh yeah i guess it's not that long of the year break i thought he chilled for like three years or something mm, yeah but, i don't know yeah so um pretty crazy i don't know thought that was newsworthy but that is interesting um i didn't know that and i definitely knew he was like one of the biggest bmx youtubers and yeah um troy mcmurray took a took a hard fall uh but one of those things where it's like i don't know he's such a fucking boss anyways and such a brick house that it's like i don't know but uh felt like it was worth getting in here i don't know yeah yeah the injured list yeah like ride used to have yeah, yeah, I hate I to see, so. hate to see it, but you're like looking yeah. at him here, like that is a gnarly looking dude. Yeah, <laughs> the beast. Probably already yeah. back riding. And then he, yeah. like he posted the next thing where it was just like him <laughs> breathing into this thing, like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> making sure his lungs are good. Oh shit! <laughs> the, fucking... <laughs> the music. <laughs> 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 what is it, Cypress Hill or something? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Pretty funny, but uh, get well soon, obviously. Hell yeah, legend. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and come do the podcast one of these days, mm. actually. Because he'd, he, he'd be really be good. Awesome. He, was, yes. he was in San Diego yes. maybe like Troy McMurray. two or Anytime. three years ago. Yeah. Anytime. Yeah, I would love to make that. Clay happen. from Pusher, you guys both come down. Let's do oh, it. Oh, yeah, that'd be sick. Because um, uh, Troy's in Denver, right? Colorado? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Rufus Dewberry on uh, United. I don't know if I we posted a couple of one or two clips of them recently but shout out to high ass seats coming back i think we talked about it maybe we talked about him on the podcast where it was like the lewis influence i think that was the one yeah that might be like rat boy influence Lu- yeah it's that higher than high really. as lewis high. and like the oh this is him. I mean, this dude's yeah. sick yeah it was yeah just like, this is definitely like this dude shreds i mean oh we i love it though that. the high seats even ak is running like super high seat he used to yeah. be slammed just got to change it up and power added to hell yeah this dude's sick <laughs> little sean mack influence yeah that is well sean, forget sean what he, Ma- he named it at one point max slide or something <laughs> yeah, probably I forget. yeah he invented it he did get to that name it that was his so. thing for sure yeah 
He did some heavy ones too. Yeah, he would, yeah. dude. He did a lot of heavy stuff. Sean Mack did not play around. I wonder if he knows who Bruce Christman is. Probably, because that was like the that was like the Christman move, the full sit down in between and look over the shoulder. I feel like nowadays, like with the internet being so good, yeah, kids are like doing their history lessons a little bit more. But cool to see him get picked up. Um, another knee and another uh, injury one. Alex Donicky broken kneecap. One of the bad, best. A little bit generation. of a bad streak for him, but hate to see it. Yeah, not gonna. Not Did he gonna. get surgery? Because the kneecap's crazy. Because I broke my kneecap and it wasn't that bad. But if you, I fractured like surgery, it. Yeah. yeah, if you break it, I think it's kind of gnarly. There's that old Jason Enns photo. Remember that one? Yeah, he posted? yeah. That, that, no, I've never know, seen that need, photo. We, yeah, if you we, fracture it, it not heals interested. chill. Not interested. But if it yeah. breaks, it's bleh, like yeah. you have to get it put back together. Yeah, so. looks like he had to get some real shit done. It looks like he'll heal up though. That that injury heals totally fine. Just takes a second. Um, Got to get that old little bone reconstructed. Yeah, make sure everything's flowing smooth. Yeah. Uh, 14 years, Justin Spree is no My longer boy. riding for fit. I uh, can't thank Muller and Melissa enough for everything they've done over the past years, but it's time to move on. Wish nothing but good times for the team and the company for the future. A nice farewell right there. It is. It is. Because I know that they... They let him go, and to see a nice, you know, like, yeah, that's yeah. He's a res- he's such a gentleman. He's a nice guy. He's a, he's a good he's a good dude. He's so Todd taught yes, him well. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> good dad, good human. He raised a good human because that was a nice farewell right also there. Also on Huffy, I, could be also on. Would be sick. Conspiracy has started. <laughs> now I love to see that though, like because you know, bike company hooks you up for fourteen years. That's a pretty damn good run. You guys can leave on good terms. I think that's sick. Yeah. Even yeah. if it's not and on friends, you know. Even if it's not on the best terms, publicly, just leaving like profession. Staying, yeah, yeah, like because I, I love what he did right yeah. there. Yeah, as, as I, I don't know if it was, you know, I know Justin pretty well, and I think it was a pretty quick thing. You know, it was like, whoa, what happened? So yeah. I kind of so to, for him to leave that message is like beautiful on his end. Yeah, I think it's the best way to do it too for Justin too, because if there is another company, you're like, well. You know, we can try it, and if it doesn't work and we split ways, he's not going to fucking exactly. bomb us. You know? like, exactly. Exactly. That's, that's what I've said yep. can, multiple, multiple times. And, so and like, with Justin, too, he's got potential to get on any company yeah, he wants. Like, yeah. that it's guy's natural riders. talent is insane. insane. Everybody who knows him and seen it and seen his, his video parts, like... I was going to pull up headlights. I was yeah. trying to go film with him sure. on Sunday, and he's like, well, no, I'm trying to finish a video part with the... He's working on, like, another part with a crew yeah, yeah. in Riverside. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so uh, he's probably like, um, he's YSLA he's, dudes. Yeah, or maybe yeah, he's working on shit right now. So Justin ain't ever gonna stop. Yeah, he's one of those riders you gotta watch ride in real life to really understand how sick he is. Yeah, he has some yeah. video parts too, though. Oh, absolutely. Like he's got some crazy parts when he was like a baby. baby. Like he's been a he's been on it. Um, Shout out to Justin. Though. You know what's funny is I actually I have a mic'd up with Justin that from twenty. 20- Two X Games. That would probably be funny. That I just edited. That I, we just finished it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I have it. I have Throw it. it out. I, it's great. I have it on the like the members thing. I need to post it on the whatever. So speaking of the spree video, I figured this is probably the perfect time to mention that we're doing another membership giveaway. So Dennis and Garrett have gone home. I cleared all the dales off the table and got these three prize packs that we're giving to members of the channel. Um, the concept of the, of the membership really does blow my mind that anybody wants to directly support the channel is kind of hard for me to wrap my head around, but I'm super thankful and I don't want to just take, so I try and do regular giveaways and, and give you guys value for that. Uh, I think the, the lowest membership is like $4 a month, so I don't think it's too much of an ask. And again, I'm super, super thankful. Uh, so as a give back, I got three prize packs here. Uh, kind of ranging in quality. Um, so this is probably the most expensive one. This is the crown jewel being these Alienation Illuminati hubs, cassette hub and front hub, uh, ODI grips. We have some R- Our BMX stuff, a Dale shirt, an Alienation Prowler tire and rim. And some, um, you know, I'll throw a stack of stickers in each package as well. This one is more of an Odyssey package. We have one of their R grip tires it's a 1.75 maybe you could use it maybe not um boyd sprocket we got some g sport nipples in there our bmx shirt odi cozy we got like a 
giant Dale's wall plate, tubalitos, our BMX hat, etc. The next one, last one, is maybe the worst one, but it also, in my opinion, has the coolest thing in it. Uh, ODI grips, Dale's shirt, our BMX sweatshirt, prowler tire, another set of tubalitos, a bunch of stickers, etc. And it does have this, which is a uh, freak book for the video of the year this year. Uh, super, super limited. Rich Forn gave me four or five of these, and he had specific people that he wanted me to give them to, and then there was one left over. So sealed. Um, it does have a question mark on it for me uh, because I didn't know to who to give it to. So that goes in the last prize pack that I think is the most uh, unique thing and super cool in my opinion. The book is awesome. So that's it for my sales pitch. We're going to give all this stuff away. I'll announce the winners on the next What the Hell is Happening episode in the beginning of the year. And good luck to you all. And thank you to all the brands that support our BMX, including Odyssey, Alien Nation, Monster, Tubalito, ODI, Dales, and then especially uh, thank you to the members. Um, the fact that anybody uh, would would spend their money and, and directly support us just because they enjoy what we do. Uh, it kind of like breaks a mold for me and I'm super thankful. So that's it. I'm not good at the sales stuff, the endorsements. Sorry, but thank you. Um, nice. <laughs> sometimes those he things wants to are do the funnier podcast. when they age. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's ridiculous. I was like, oh yeah, we're about a year and a half. That would be great <laughs> just to <laughs> see that. It. Yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> fuck yeah. it. Let's just keep it. Two years later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe wait three more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was like so like a real. crazy. Real. After he's off Huffy, mm. yeah, he might have a good run there. He'll yeah. still be on. <laughs> be a... He's probably signed a five-year contract. Oh. Really? They do big deals over there, right. Huffy. Mm -hmm. For life, maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I'm looking for that Huffy. Here's his dad. I'm like, I'm probably gonna go for a while, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, submission from Carlson, uh, Lori Perez, sub, aka the best female rider in France, um, riding for Sebastian Keeps, Sebastian Keeps Company Tall Order. Nice. Um, so I guess he said, Kyle added that this is the first uh, person that Tall Order has picked up in like several years. So, oh, that's sick. Um, or a couple years. So um, pretty cool. Looks like she's got the rings. So uh, congrats to both of them. Yes. Um parallel in barcelona whoa no way yeah are they redoing it or is it gone i guess there's some drama uh that they're you know it's supposed to be like a sports complex for you know multiple things i, I mean yeah it could be anything soccer tennis whatever and so but it's obviously a hub for bmx and skateboarding yeah and they're redoing it and i don't think bmx extreme sports action sports has any consideration in the oh, yeah. so, no way yeah so unfortunately um yeah so uh mickey i don't know if he started it or not but a little petition not like a gofundme or something but just signatures for just showing that there's interest in uh what did simone say <laughs> He said, you'll be fine. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's what I mean. Like, yeah. <laughs> you'll be fine. I saw somebody post something, post something else about it. So I don't know if there's like a, a thing there or something, but I don't know. So, but a funny comment. I'm well, I'm not trying to talk any shit. And it's a great meetup spot, but that whole city's a skate park. So maybe that's kind of what he means. Yeah, You'll be fine. Yeah. It's yeah. like really lit up though. And they, it is they, dope. Like, Mickey works full time now. So I know that's kind of his skate park. Yeah. Because it's kind of central. It is yeah. like a nice yeah. skate park, like right in the middle of everything. And it's so, it's true. one of those things when it's like the hub of like yeah. the meetup. Because yeah. you know you can go spot. there and then there's there's riders there all the time. When that goes away and people scatter out, that's like what we... True. Harder sometimes to get everyone together. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes people stop riding because kind of, of that. Apart. When you yeah. have that one spot, it's easy. You go have your fun, mm -hmm. go home. Not everyone's like going to chase that spot yeah. around. Yeah. So Those yeah. dudes hold it, it down, sad. too. They'll be there till like 12, 1 at night. It's like a party it's a hangout spot yeah. thing, too. I'm pretty sure Mickey's operating the machinery that's actually pulling it apart, too. Because <laughs> he works for the city. Kind of. <laughs> that, that's... That's kind of the fucked best up. case scenario. Yeah, I guess. Maybe, maybe somehow <laughs> can get up. some poll though to figure out how to. Um, but yeah, so the the link to the uh, petition um, looks like they're still a little bit short. So uh, go ahead and click this link and just sign in and yeah. sign it. So um, just 
not any sort of uh well, i mean it looks like you can donate something but uh goal is to not get money so um and then i've never the goal is just to make it right yeah just so. to, just to show that there's interest and that it's not you know um you know it's something that they should try and keep or at least consider in the new plan so but i feel like if they're already tearing it down the plans are so solidified and i, th- to I think the plans are to keep part of it. It's just turning into like a sports complex too, where there's gonna be like a basketball and football little thing. Yeah, and it's gonna take a good portion of the spots away. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've never been there. Maybe you guys have, but no. not festival. It I've been around for like rad. fifteen years yeah, or something. This is sad. Um, I was just reading that. No one. way. Yeah. yeah, they're not doing one in twenty twenty four. Straight up done. Yeah. Well, at least for twenty twenty four and. The- always seemed like a really cool uk contest yeah and it was like at like a crazy music festival too mm-hmm. seemed like everyone who went had a blast yeah seemed almost too seemed, much fun yeah it's like one of those, one of those kind of yeah. that's what i've heard about it like you go there like people get tense and stuff mm-hmm. it's like one of those things like festival vibes. Yeah, it is a festival it's like a- <laughs> crazy music and partying it's a, the only thing riding. i found was that they did they did nos 23 in july and so they're announcing that 24 is done in like this early on i'm like wow that's pretty crazy i mean i mean i guess they probably work on the festival for a long time it is a big festival yeah but i was like that's pretty early to call it and from living on the other side of the world too i would always just see it on the internet and be like damn they did it again that shit looked awesome you know it's like it just kind of comes and goes as a california guy but fuck that seemed like an awesome time every year um hopefully they bring it back but like they said, once it's kind of crazy sometimes. Once you, once you quit, and all sometimes that. it's hard to come back. Or yeah. something new will come. Maybe they'll do it somewhere else. Yeah. Somewhere more like feasible, some more realistic. Sometimes you realize, people realize they missed it. Maybe it'll bring new sponsors in or something. True, true. Hopefully. Um, on to events. So again, all those, everything that we talked about, links are in the description. Um, events that happened. Uh, Ride PA, BMX, Second Mention, and DNS Fall Jam. Pretty quick, but... Uh, we have a bunch of videos and stuff too, so we're making, cut through all this stuff pretty quick. But um, this is the, I think that that DIY was the the yeah, one that the yeah, stand thing will go. Yeah, it's nothing popular. Yeah, so um, link to this will be in the bio, or in the bio, the uh, description, right? Link in bio. Link in bio. Live now. <clears throat> Um, Moto Banca Film Festival. Were you judged for this too, or no? Uh, you ju- no, you judged for the Urban World Series. So. Yeah, I was okay. for that. Um, so they had the. Uh, this is kind of the trailer for the entire thing, uh, but gnarly. <laughs> uh, and I was a judge for it, so I've I watched all the videos, like thirty five videos. It was pretty intense watching. You know, hard to be a judge after after a while with this stuff, but. Um, there was some definite standouts. So they had the premiere at a movie theater. Uh, they posted some photos on Instagram and stuff like that. It looks super cool. Just a all around like cool fucking thing that Moto Bunka does. And uh, I assume they're going to be releasing the videos soon. And uh, there's seriously a couple of fucking wild ones. So um, look out for that. Yeah, some of those dudes get down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the Higa brothers, was, they were standouts for me. And then there was like the ken oh man i'm gonna butcher it if i try and say it but yeah then, and even like that little kid sasuke yeah so she, he has a full video part that's it, sick it's fucking insane yeah you're just like you you always just see like iphone you know and yeah. it's like he has a full video part it'd be fu- it'd be know, he's so good though i want to yeah, see that it's insane it'd be fun to watch his stuff like film professionally yeah mm-hmm. and going out to different spots him riding street um Winning C1 at Adelaide. Jason builds this in a week with his crew. <laughs> really? One week. They build this, tear it down. This whole thing. This is all Jason building that shit. Oh, is this so he posted that clip like doing a transfer or something across, right? Yeah. Build it and destroy it, yep. basically. The guy said, hardest working man yep. at BMX. Right. But he, everything he does doesn't even work to him, though. You know, he loves everything. He loves building the courses and he loves riding. Putting that course together in a week seems like it might be a little bit of work. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But for <laughs> him, he loves it for sure. Watching him when he gets down like that, like he really likes it. Oh, he'll absolutely. take on a job like the next week too. Like, yep, let's do it again. Yeah. I'm sure the money's good. No, BMXers love projects. Like sometimes it's annoying, but once you like get something like that put together and the dudes are riding it and they yeah. like it, you know, there's something satisfying about that. That's cool. 
Declan one. Yeah. I guess there's like multiple. It was kind of what he's Kyle talked sleeper, about. He's a sleeper, dude. Like he'll just come and like he got third in the Olympics and then he'll just win one of those. Remember what Kyle talked about with like the Woodward oh, yeah. contest? Now so there was like so they did, one the next day. They did they did two contests on the same course hmm. in the same same weekend. I don't know how these guys keep up with this. Yeah. They gotta have an app. I mean it's good for them. Hell yeah. Yeah. Screw up one day, get another chance. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like we do this True. news thing, we do this podcast once a month and we see this crew of guys like in four yeah, different countries they just like, keep going it's yeah nuts. it's insane yeah this this is like, would... like they need an app someone needs to build them an app <laughs> right yeah Chat like GPT schedule chill, chill bmx you guys ride too much. <laughs> nah, that... yeah, i'm joking the schedule's crazy yeah. though like this is adelaide australia like i don't even know where that is i know it's australia but yeah never been there pretty and insane then they were in that crazy city in china last month yep. we were talking yep. about this stuff um turkey jam Another still C1 haven't event. haven't finished yeah ha, still haven't finished the highlights did a higher video this is a cool event though yeah. gary shout out to gary because he's not a you know he doesn't doesn't do have events, to do this he doesn't know? have to do this. he doesn't do events and yeah. every year he's getting better and better at managing them and yeah figuring out what's cool and this year was i only went to the last two but this one was the best one for sure yeah and um but yeah, cool, cool event, and then uh, cool vibes, and obviously a local event and and stuff like that. It's so. sick. Yeah, the really cool amateur stuff like throughout the day, amateur contests, and then pro box jump, which was like people who like won X Games. Brady Baker was yeah, there. Like yeah. the, it, the, that was crazy. And then this kind of shit, high air, up rail, long jump. It's fun. Longest lap. Yeah. yeah. Next year, if you're around Southern California or can make it, you got to come to this because it's a fun day. Yeah, it looks it, like they're trying to cater to everyone. It's it is. It's yeah. like everyone yeah. can have Celebrating fun. every single style of BMX. There's like and, a sandwich place. Sandwich Emporium comes in and caters food. Oh, like It's true. just like a, there's a bunch of uh, different sponsors there with their tents and everything. It's cool. What do you uh, What do you think about the U1? And you, the you, box jump contest. Yeah. Against, against the X Games champion. Yeah. <laughs> local stomping grounds. Yeah, exactly. It's my local park. <laughs> And I had three runs. I just kept trying to make my run better and better and better. And they were just like, you know. They, so, they, Dennis walked up and accept, accepted the award. And he would just looked at Baker, Brady and he was like, I paid the judges. <laughs> he's like, I know. <laughs> Gary's like, what the fuck? <laughs> maybe they'll invite me to X Games. Maybe. Sure. Maybe. Be sick. Yeah. Um, Urban World Series. <laughs> but did you judge this one? Just kidding. Yeah, this is the one I judged. All right. All right. So who won? I'm not allowed to say. It, de- it depends. I think uh, they're giving the results on the fifth. So if I was a judge, I would have picked Casey. I'm going to edit it before the fifth. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't watch any of these, so they're all really. They're, they're all only sick. like 60 seconds. Right? But my yeah. favorite was Casey's. Should we watch that one first? I mean, you can give them compliments. You just can't give them. Not, you just can't give them. It's place. a news podcast, so I don't think we got to watch the whole like all of them. Nah. Just tell people to watch all this because it's really cool. And like, I don't think a lot of people even know that this was going on. You know, it kind of happened so quick. But this one, this was my favorite just because it felt like it could have almost been like an X Games real BMX part. Yeah. yeah. Like, he went hard. I mean, he did it in a month. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, he's sick. Was he's, that the, he's an animal. Was it a month for everybody? Yep. Uh, wow. Yeah. That was a crazy very, ice pick. Dude. Very short turnaround. I feel like he's really coming into Whoa. his own, too, with street riding. Like this. Yeah, I like that clue. Will's co- Will with a camera. I don't know his last name. That's who filmed this, right? Yeah. Yeah, Will. I believe so. There. Yeah, you see, he's gotten a lot better too from like a couple years. I feel like he's. I've seen him do a couple of videos, and now it's just like better and better too. So yeah, yeah. But all these are sick. They're only like a minute long, so you can just blast through them. Um, is Santi's good? Or Hell yeah, they're I... all good. Yeah, they're, they're. I don't think there was. They were all pretty sick. Yeah. yeah. So link to the I just have the YouTube channel in the link. So keep it easy. Uh, watch all these. Okay. Yeah, they're all like you know how you know pro like the big dogs get to do the X Games real BMX stuff. It's kind of like an opportunity like that for yeah. Like none of these dudes I don't think have been invited to that. So mm, they get yeah, to, I don't think so. Get to do their little, but it's filmed in a month, right? Yep. So even harder. Yeah. <laughs> that is hard. Yeah. Months Hell a yeah. short deadline. Yeah. But that's kind of, for one minute a month, that's kind of like a sick little way to do a contest. No, I think it's super sick. You I think it's almost it fun. Yeah. Yeah. 
because a year just go get it. in for a minute it's like you can talk about anxiety like have they announced are they doing <laughs> have they announced the real bmx stuff or no no clue i saw them announce like moto so i assume they're doing i mean I, yeah i'm gonna get in trouble Stu, but yeah, I, th- I don't know if I they're know, doing it. I think Huffy's. I know involved. it's been talked about, but I don't yeah. think they have anything solid. Yeah. Yeah. I think Jason's running it. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's what. <laughs> Jason's building the ramp. He didn't have time to ride for Too busy building the Olympics. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so he's doing that. Does Jason get to build the Olympic course? No. I hope no. so. He's doing the. Him, they, Fees has their own. Or UC yeah. or whatever. Stop sleeping. Hire Jason. <clears throat> right. Um, yeah. On that subject, uh, Kyle did say that uh, that a lot of Olympic stuff should be announced, confirmed in the next couple of weeks. People who are so, qualified? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I hit Kevin up so. today or yesterday to ride, and he was like, oh, I, I got on this flight to go to C1 event in Chile trying to grab points to get in the top 12. Fucking I'm crazy. Like, Holy shit. Like, you know, he must be like right on the border. Yeah. It's just, yeah. Boom. Well, I think that's like what, that's the, so that's what the Adelaide thing is. And then there was like a, there was an event at Tech, at, in texas at the morgan wade park really it is another one this last weekend too and i think they did the same thing like two events so it's all this like it's so crazy yeah i don't know that seems weird that you could grabbing all the bread it seems like it would all be like organized legit events that you get the points from and it'd be solidified not like like, have 10 or 20 of them not like a ton of like you don't even know what's going on if you ride this you could get three points it's like, I don't know. I well, guess they it's did, cool, they, too. They, they have, have some big travel budgets, man. That's, yeah. That shit's expensive. It was weird because, like, even in the... I remember there was that drama with the... During the COVID times, because, like, Nick Bruce went out to a couple of events that were, like, C1 events and, and won them. And then they were like, no, we're taking those back because <laughs> because not everybody could get there because of COVID restrictions. And different countries had different restrictions. And he was like, dude, I probably spent... He probably spent ten thousand dollars, fifteen thousand yeah. dollars, like doing all that. Ten thousand like, dollars risked his life, put all that effort yeah. in. You're like, sorry, yeah, dude. No points for you, Mister. Yeah. So uh, it's pretty. It's a crazy world. A gangster it, though. He still got the it, Olympics. Yeah. Even though after all that, yeah, he's still in there. Yeah. And cool. and it's like you don't even. The rules aren't clear. Nobody understands. Yeah. It'd be hard to deliver that message. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, dude. That was really sick. Yeah. Uh, they don't count though. Yeah. <laughs> Remember all that what? time and effort and money you spent. Yeah, we have Kyle come on this podcast like every once in a while, and he knows everything about it. And we've been like filled the information so many still times. Lost. So if it, if anyone would know, like I think I'd kind of understand. I'm still like, I don't fucking get it. But Kyle's confused too. Even Kyle's confused, yeah. and he's yeah. like a part because of the whole it, because thing. the because the language is like. So that's what I'm saying about these guys. Like, How do they even know what's going on? Uh, what's a, ambiguous? Like or like it's like not meant to be fully understood. It's like a lawyer. It's like a contract. That's or, yeah, yeah. That seems kind of weird. Yeah. So. <laughs> Who knows? But, you know, Olympics. Is it still true that every continent gets a rider? Yeah. I, I was just talking to someone yeah. about that today. So we're going to get to see an African rider mm-hmm. in the Olympics. Yeah, remember? So I we don't we hear anything about, about those C1 events or C, or we don't, we're just... I think it. he's in. I think the guy... Ooh, there's a dude I, who's... Remember, I think we talked about him. I think we had a name for him. There's a guy that's... There was a guy that he, was like, he's South there. African or something like that. And oh, it's like, South he's the African. best one and he did okay at a couple events. So he's basically in because he's the best okay. one in the Okay, he already got in there. Yeah. Be a hard spot to be in. Yeah. Be a fun spot to be in. Fun spot, but also kind of like, weird. You showing know, up like, at those events against just that would be yeah. hard. You're like, oh, hey, Logan. Hey, Dan. Yeah. Realistically, hey, though, hey, shit. Hey. The, way, <laughs> the way I look at it, though, like, the future of BMX for that whole continent is amazing, though, because... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, it's it's kind of weird. It's really weird for the whole Olympic thing, but, like, the money that will get pumped into Africa for kids to get no, bikes so and stuff like that. No, it's so smart for the overall awesome. yeah. landscape of BMX in the future. It's great. For that person getting that spot like taken that, away, that sucks. Or or yeah. the person being injected into the continent. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> Would you uh would you be down for the BMX street to be in the Olympics? I don't I don't think it would hurt it. Yeah. But I don't know. I think once the Olympics get involved, I think it changes it a little bit. Yeah. You know, but I don't know. No. Maybe it helps open new doors, you know, that's never a bad thing. Definitely but a lot more street events there, would, there would be. There would be That'd more be cool. people uh focusing on contests and video parts would take the beauty of street riding away. That's very true. That is a hundred percent true. <laughs> but then I think also too with the Olympics, there's always going to be two parts of it where there's that side and then there's the 
the side that's always existed. Mm-hmm. So yeah, there's a, there's that's what be happened with park. Riding. I feel like there's sure. like Olympic park riding, yeah, and then there's like park riding. It's fast and loose. It's like versus, a genre yeah. of park riding. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, like, it's just like another bracket of it's it. It's almost a new thing. But there will be all these like street contests where people don't ride street at all, Which and they just focus. But that's how park is. They don't really ride parks. They ride a warehouse and go to the gym. Not all of them, yeah. but a majority. But, yeah. That's how hard you have to train. You have to ride this park every day and go to the gym, and eat and drink really good, and try really fucking hard. Drink Dales. Drink, drinking Dales helps. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, it, it would, yeah. It would if definitely, you're 21, be, it'd definitely be crazy. Well, depends on what if country you, you are. If you knew like what style park you were going to ride for everything. You know, like, yeah, I, would go I know what the course is. Insane. I know what the quarter is. I know what the box is. But sometimes the quarter is over there and sometimes the quarter is over there. You know, yeah. like, and it, it, yeah, you would have no need to go ride. It's fun, though, because 12 I mean, foot cement some people love the focus something. and like the direction like yeah. this is what it's like this is what to focus on yeah. you know so it's and i think that's i mean for some people it's great i feel like most of the dudes at least stateside don't think you know like using paris as an example like paris was out filming the video part filming the video part with you she's an exception and though, it's like because there's not yeah any, think about anybody else that's in the olympics they didn't get there by like oh i just do this kind of as well kevin but not really. Kevin's fully. Full Kevin's on. focused He's this full year. On now. Yeah. yeah, he wants to get in there. I, yeah. If you want to get in there, I feel like you have to fully have to commit. Full yeah. No matter how good you are, you can be as good as Kevin. If you're yeah. Fully focused. You still. Kevin's so cut. fucking good too. <laughs> <laughs> He's like trying to get. I think in. that's a pretty good. Uh, yeah. Yeah, indicator how hard it is to get in. the best park rider, you know, like right yeah. in there, yeah. like, and he's still like, "Fuck, it's hard to get in here. I got to go to Chile. Sorry, dude, I can't ride today. I got to do this." I'm it's, sure he has a blast doing all of it, but it's hard too, because like from my landscape looking at it, I'd be like, Kevin's riding almost would stand out more at those contests because it's just so far off on his own thing. Yeah, but it seems like it's like still it doesn't get overlooked, but it's still just like, yeah, but we like want, we like the double flips, we like this. It's like. Yeah, it's, n- I f- I f- it's not wrong, you know, but it's, it's just not like- it's not wrong. But it's like I always I always use the example of like Logan is the best. Yeah. And it's like Logan is the pinnacle of his style riding sure. is what they're looking for. And Logan on his best day is what they want. Yeah. And so you have like Logan, he won the Olympics. Logan, it's, Logan it's V2 true. and Logan V3 and Logan V4. And it's like, yeah, it gets watered all, down. Yeah, it's, it's all like, it's all fucking ham sandwiches, yeah. you know, ham and cheese. Like, that's it. Like, which is awesome. But it, that's also what's cool, though, awesome. because it progresses like that. And if there was like if if there was a bunch of other contest series with different courses and different judges, it would be that, too. Which yeah. is sick. Yeah. They're just very they have that. And that's what they're looking for. And that's why there's going to be all these people progressing that. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Kind of, am I? It's just a, it's a pathway. It's like, li- wrong, it's very, like, like, like little... it's, it's linear, you know, yeah, like, it's... whereas like the pro cup, I'm just it, trying to, it was, yeah. a, it was a park contest, but it was like, sometimes you showed up and there's like wood add-ons in the, in the quarter pipes yeah. sucked and they're made, you know, and it yeah. was like all different. So kind of makes it a little bit more fun to watch, yeah. you know, For like, sure. cause you That's never know and like, then not... you have to pull people out of their comfort zones and yeah. stuff. Yeah, following these guys on Instagram, it's so badass. But at the same time, it's like you see them in different countries doing the same thing over and yeah. over, you know? Yeah. Where it's like when it was due tour and shit, you're like, this motherfucker's going to hit that. Like, yeah. it was just yeah. set up like crazy. So, so, so people would have opportunities to shine, like different people. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, and, I mean, I don't know. It's, just, it's kind of the same. It's on, I was like debating. And I was like, it's kind of the same with you because it's like, even when you, when like you dominating X games, people are like, I have to beat Garrett at his own game, you know? And it's yeah. like, and so they started riding like you more instead of doing their, their thing. Own and then thing, it's like, yeah. and then, and then even the contest stopped catering to riders like Dak and Ty and stuff like which that. Which I think is crazy. Which sucked. Yeah. You know? it kind of like for me as a viewer, if I was looking at it, I always enjoyed watching like the Metro Jam when I was a kid. Yeah. Because Sean Burns like, or Hoder jumping over the fence. But you could you be know? anything. You have this pegless dude, and then now we have Gary Young, and then now you got like a trails guy. And yeah. it's like there's not one style of riding. It's your own take on riding. Yeah. A course yeah. made by Jay Miron. You know, that's what yeah. <laughs> you have yeah. to have this yeah. somebody who's like Metro Jam epic style. who's going to be like, everyone has a chance to excel at this. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. that's what happened with Metro Jam. It's just something yeah. beautiful. And that's kind of why I think just like the more people putting on their own contests and jams, the more opportunity for like different styles of riding to like kind of, yeah. yeah. And that's why the Olympics, it, the Olympics is catering to this style. Yeah. That's why it's going shoom, like, yeah. 
It seems great. I'm going to take, that's a, my, that's my take theory a note off screen. Seems like they would put, add some different stuff at some time. They don't, though, because it's getting so, e- it's easier for them to judge like well, the same kind of shit so they I, can. I think I understand it because, like, you know, mainstream sports are really big because they're pretty easy to comprehend because there's less variables. Exactly. So I feel like they're trying to cut the variables they throw, out to like, make it, like, yeah. very cut and clear this and that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, always no. heard a, I always heard a stat that, like, the step up at moto was like the the most viewed or most popular thing from like a viewership standpoint because they're like he didn't hit the pole you know and then like very easy to understand yeah and that was it and like that's the winner yeah like i could finish line sports yeah like who crosses the finish lines first you know it's like magoo talked about that on the podcast it was like yeah it was like when he presented that downhill racing thing he was like it's fucking nascar on bikes down a hill and the guy that crosses the line, everybody that watches it goes, that guy won. For sure. And then it's going to be consumable. And that's how he sold it to ESPN. He invented a sport. That's yeah. what's beautiful you know, about BMX. Like, so it's literally, you know, with street riding and anybody who's not worrying about just these contests, it's it's an art form. Yeah. Because you get to like what you like. Yeah. And yeah. that's all that and it that's is. that's what competition takes away at a point. When For it gets sure. down the road. You know, may not start out with that I- intention or idea but down the road it just naturally it excels happens. it excels progression like crazy which Definitely. is awesome yeah but it you know it takes away the art form too because you're like this trick is what i need to learn oh they like that one yeah I do that one Ooh, that, <laughs> that one score the cash roll exactly they score <laughs> points that's like they're, they're just fuck style like yeah 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 there's been to be, i mean i don't know i don't know, I don't how know much. though you look at surfing you know surfing's all style surfing's huge but competition side of surfing has to be so small do they really like get i don't know i think I it's know. huge it's yeah, huge dude it's, in, like, it's, it's huge it's the yeah. biggest thing in action sports i'm it's pretty sure the biggest action really? sport yep. oh absolutely like That's and it's all crazy. style and it's like it's i think it's just because they have so many people and so many surf shops that it's like they're generalizing to the general public to, like, well 90 percent of people style. are like i surf but they really just have a few oh. surfboards in their their garage but they don't really surf yeah they float around a little bit yeah. <laughs> you know it's yeah. like it's a really easy sport to watch because it is sick you just watch these people catch these huge ass waves and you're like oh that's cool that's so crazy yeah i don't know i huge. had this debate with gary recently that it, like surfing is like plummeted in popularity hell I'm like, no i'm like i'm like I, you think about mar- hell no think about marketing on, that you see out there and surf culture it's as, lifestyle like, it like everyone like wants it, to be a but surfer. nobody in the midwest wants to be a surfer anymore. yeah they do that's what well, we, i don't know we grew, do, but... well, we <laughs> probably up. they i think they do <laughs> I, think we they grew, do. I feel like when we grew <laughs> up there's got to be a few dude but, I, you I know what i mean like it like i don't know i don't know yeah there was all these like surf movies and culture from all the industry people i know that like deal with a bunch of sports they always say surfing is like the biggest industry oh yeah you know like the guys at rockstar and the guys at well i don't know about vans i think they probably focus more on skate they don't wear vans in the water though but they have a crazy surf team and they don't wear fucking shoes so they must be doing pretty (laughs) good that's insane all right that is insane let's move on we got a lot to get through that was a good topic that was i I would i would on it i would (laughs) genuinely i would genuinely keep going but i just looked at the list and like we got to keep going yeah it's not gonna go anywhere (laughs) let's have a bullshitting with garrett night podcast too Kind of um, good, where we just nothing let's just talk about surfing <laughs> uh free, freedom bmx Garrett's awards of father the year. was a pro surfer no no he's hooked he was like Semi-pro. uh like hooked sponsored. up yeah like okay. sponsored garrett uh, knows about surfing a little bit federal or federal freedom uh rider of the year awards uh there's it seems like they're rolling out videos uh uh like on the youtube right now so um like they do a bunch of cool ones the equivalent of Nora Cup for Germany and it's super German focused um but they have a newcomer award which is super sick but um just click through all of these and they do they did like an international uh writer a year writer of the year award which went to Jordan Godwin and stuff like that and I was just always I see they've been they've been doing it for years so yeah. it's super cool that um let's see let's see who newcomer Jacob, he's sick. Yeah. So, uh, shout out to Freedom. The rest of these will be on their YouTube. Um, I think they've dropped like two or three so far. <clears throat> Freedom kills it. Yeah, they do. I mean, they do a bunch of cool content. Yeah. Um, Cult of Ween. Shout out to Dak. No costume, Dak or Devin. You guys are out. Devin's podcast is good too. If you didn't hear it, yeah, that was a fun one. 
Devin's the man. Devin is the man. It was really fun doing a podcast with him. <laughs> That's a pretty good outfit right there. Who was that? I don't have no idea, but... I think that's just a normal just kit. like the pad, the pad rentals <laughs> <laughs> but um big daddy <laughs> right. yeah i think that's just pat lachlan rolling up <laughs> oh, oh sorry yeah. oh no we've never woke him up before. no he's joking he said that earlier <laughs> we did a little mini podcast before you guys got here They're like six minutes of that him could be in the credit for the uh, subscribers and, yeah maybe you guys want to listen to cannon yell into the mic if yeah he, but he literally <laughs> said he was like he's like i oh, know i don't like the podcast you guys are too loud so <laughs> is he serious no he's okay. just he's just being, uh narloween jam uh which i think we talked about the instagram video but these like the official highlights from dig uh where like the dude rides along the yeah. the the log and it breaks. This setup, this setup is so sick, dude. It oh. gets it gets wild. Well, this guy's got a fucking firecracker in his pocket. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty. Where is this this at? This it's scene looks it's rad. It's in Jersey, right? Nice. Jersey or Pierre's Bab baboon, someone... baboon runs it, and it was actually a. It was, Ooh. um, I I didn't think I forgot about this when I put this link in here, but it's for yo. That was crazy, Bar X on that. That is a sick setup made out of trees. Uh, it's like it was a. There's baboon right there, superhero. <laughs> um. It was a fundraiser for the guy Gasman Lives that I posted the GoFundMe on oh, Instagram okay. where he had the, he, it was like he had, God, he had like a liver transplant, but then they, he didn't get a, didn't get a shot, like a vaccine beforehand and his, they had to amputate his arms and legs. No. Oh way. shit! Yeah. I saw you post that. Yeah, That's and so he was sad. like the way Baboon presented it to me. I was like, oh, go fund me for his buddy or whatever. And then I clicked it, and I was like, oh my god! Like it just like hit me so yeah. hard. Did he had like two gotta, kids. Did you put that on there. Yeah, I'll get that in there. But holy did shit! Did he get the money that they were looking I'll, for? I'll find. So. I'll find his. Uh, we'll find yeah, his Instagram I right saw now. that real quick, and yeah. I was. I think I screenshotted it to go back yeah. to it. I did. Um, that shit was like gnarly, dude. Yeah, it was. So he, this is the photo that I posted. Oh, Jesus, man. Yeah. So what happened? He got a disease. He he got sepsis, but it was from. It, it's in this. We can. We should actually watch it. Yeah, that's yeah. newsworthy. Yeah. Sorry, this was like an in between of when I, when we did the news thing, and then I. And then I posted this, and I. And this. That's how doctors at an area rehab hospital are describing patient Jim Murray. Sometimes you just meet people that put things into perspective, and that's certainly the case with Murray, a 34-year-old upstate husband and father learning how to walk again. These days, he's taking it one prosthetic step at a time. He's just a good person. Like he's just. I don't. I can't like pinpoint exactly one thing that made me fall in love with him. From high school sweethearts to husband and wife to parents of two boys, Jim and Danielle Murray have been together for 15 years. There's just so many like amazing things about him. We spend a lot of our time outdoors, riding bikes all the time, or going to like swimming spots or just anything outside. Back in February, Jim got sick. Originally just thought it was like a bad stomach bug, woke up with just real bad chills. And it was more than the winter flu. And the next morning, I can just tell he felt pretty bad and um, I was kind of rushing out the door and everything. So I did call his mom and I told him like, I think you need to go check on Jim. I think he needs to go to the doctor. A trip to the Minute Clinic quickly turned into a trip to the emergency room. Nearly 20 years after having his spleen removed, Jim's body couldn't fight off a bacterial infection, and it could be deadly. And then within like 12 hours, you know, I ended up being uh, sedated and intubated. I had a fever above 107. I was out for about five days. They really didn't know how it was going to be when I came back. Yeah, that was really tough. <laughs> Jesus, dude. It was really hard. That whole time I just thought about the boys pretty much. Like, I just want him to be okay. Like, our boys, like, he does everything with him. Like, they're like his best friend. So, <laughs> um, 
Those five days were definitely the hardest. <laughs> so then when I woke up, you know, I didn't have good blood flow to my, uh, my feet or my hands. They kind of told us that he may lose some of his fingers and that they would try to salvage as much as they can. And then I ended up having six surgeries in six weeks. Losing more than just fingers. He also lost both arms and both feet. I didn't know I needed extra vaccinations, which would have prevented this. And I've talked to a couple other people that have lost their spleens and they had no idea either. So, you know, there's just a couple different vaccines that you need to get per the CDC. Jim says while the information is easily found in a Google search, he had no idea. Now, a quadruple amputee, he's learning to walk again. So I'm really just spending that time and a lot of it is just building up those core muscles, building up my leg muscles. You know, I lost probably over 30 pounds. From standing to stepping to one day running, Jim keeps Damn, running. he's already got it though, so like yeah. what a Everyone badass. To new circumstances. How many how many Seems dudes like you, how many dudes do you know that have lost their spleen? You know, to see him, I don't know. I, I can really think of a Taj. They're like Walter, two maybe. Alex yeah. Taj and Walter. There's a, there's a couple. I think there, I feel like Morgan. Man. I mean, I've lacerated his spleen. I know Perenni did. But like actually losing it, I know of two at least. Yeah, so probably it's off the top of my head. You know, my dad is so cool because like he will have robot hands and robot feet. What's more? Wow, though. What a badass! What a yeah. badass! It's so gnarly, but you could see it looked so like it. positive yeah. about it, and your situation in the future is crazy. Where, where he's crazy moving his fingers know. already with his this technology. Situation because of horrible events that occurred or I could be thankful for be alive because it's yeah serious. he's so positive and awesome and I'm choosing to be thankful right good job Ev. keep going buddy what did G yeah, do yeah yeah good to see my family you gotta put day. this link in there too still, yeah to support this mom. guy I still have my <sighs> um, there's a lot of things I can still be thankful for that's crazy yeah so that's what that fundraiser or that's what that that gnarly that fucking jam in the woods with people putting fireworks mm. in the pocket <laughs> that's what that for, was for Ooh. how fucking sick is that yeah so uh who let me uh yeah sorry uh, like so i like it, it hit me really hard so we didn't have vaccinations and he got a spleen removed no he he lost he lost his spleen like 20 years earlier oh. and he didn't get vaccinations the, the apparently oh so would the sickness do, do well fucked him up really bad and the sickness fucked him up and so, like, it fucked him up, and then uh, they, uh, this is a different one, actually. Um, I thought it was more, yeah. Um, but, yeah, so, it, it, yeah, it fucked him up and uh, just killed yeah. the blood flow, you know? Like, so, uh, could happen fucking. To anyone, yeah. yeah that's Dude, fucking moves. stomach cramps. Yeah. Some chills, you know? Yeah. Like, fuck, man. So, um, yeah, yes, let me add, let me add this link in there. Um, and shout out to Baboon for uh, throwing the jam. And uh, yeah, yeah let me... sick thing to get everyone together for. Yeah. And then he posted something where he was like on a bike. Um, I'm sorry, just add this in before I. Since we have his Instagram. Which is sick. Oh, that's so fucking sick. <laughs> <laughs> only, only like a rider. Yeah. Would be back on a bike in the scenario <laughs> this quick. My goal is to ride a bike by the end of the year. Today, I fucking accomplished it. Fuck yeah! Never give up. That's one hundred. Yeah. What a what a boss, dude. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Anything with uh, dads and stuff like that, dude. I just... Yeah, for sure. I said, dude, this got kids. Yeah. yeah it's got to hit you. You got to see this, Dennis. <laughs> Already riding? Yeah. I said my goal was to ride by, uh, ride a bike by the end of the year today. A fucking accomplishment. C yeah. Accomplished it. Never stop pushing. Never give up. That's Yeah, that's so sick. Yeah. <laughs> crazy Woo! so gofundme is in is in the description i'll put that one at the top yeah um, that's huge that that's insane ooh, ooh. put at top put at two i think top um okay all right mood change uh over the bars jam at woodward i think we talked about this briefly but i'm gonna 
turn that. But open open loop stuff is always pretty entertaining. I think is would, would we say it was like a old person jam? Uh, I think it's like? just like an off season. <laughs> it's kind of like a little BMX festival. I yeah. don't think it has to be like you don't have to be old. It's just like an adult camp yeah. off season yeah. where you can have fun too if you're an adult and I'm sure there's beers so, going around. Uh, <laughs> oh, maybe he may have had one. Definitely. Well, I don't know about the daytime. Probably. Yeah. Of these guys, but I think but, night times are fun long too. Jump, of course. So. Yeah. But whole video is super cool. Um. And then, uh, what do we got? That's it for events that happen, which is a lot. There was a lot of events. Busy so, month. Um, events that are coming, not that many. I don't know. But do I'm you guys sure know there's going to be a bunch. Um, Swamp Fest, February seventeenth. You missed organized crime jam. I missed organized crime. Matt jam. Clausen's jam. Thank you. Because that was kind of like right in between the last news one. We talked about it before as like an upcoming event, but yeah, organized crime. Matt yeah. Clausen, one of your little, fiend boys. A little promo. Yeah. For him. Yeah. Matt's the man. Matt's the man. It, and this one, one, it went from last year was like. Cobbled, awesome and then this year was like dude they built a skate park cobbled together in comparison to this one yeah like that the one last year was like max killed it the whole time too and did they leave this park there because i uh, swear it, i keep seeing people riding it it's matt's little tf where oh, is really? it it's like right behind this shop it's one of his homies you, it's at the same shop same, same place, place. And they it's just, just in the back like, yeah nice is it anybody else microphone getting yeah weird? mine's getting okay. weird my headphones are huh. hopefully everything's all yeah, good yeah sorry if it's some something going on yours too or no uh not really okay right. here. could just be Ooh. Yeah. this was sick the 270 smith fakie yeah. yeah chad oh, that oh. was oh he hit his head a little bit right there way different than the last jam too because the last one was very street he made this one a little parky kind of parky yeah which yeah. is awesome change it up yo yeah I feel like this is just the, you know, second annual of something that's going to keep growing. Yeah. Maybe this will be the next Metro Jam. Maybe. I could see Matt oh, pulling that off. That was sick. It's getting there. Look at this course. Yeah. It's pretty got potential. damn good turnout. Yeah. 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 In the very first year with, like, no expectations was crazy. Yo, that was sick. Organized crime. You gotta send this shit to me beforehand, so I'm I don't sorry, so I'm I don't sorry, look bad. I'm sorry. No, you look great. <laughs> you can just edit it out, right? I mean, uh, at this point, I move so quick when I try and edit yeah. stuff. It's like we look bad no matter us. what. Who gives a shit? Yeah, I know. The other stuff I I said I would edit out earlier. I it's probably gonna I, I stay. Forgot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's his last name? Bautista. Uh, I'm not Chad, sure. Uh, Chardmander. Instagram names always get in the way. Yeah. Of These days, yeah, that's a yeah. new thing. Yeah. Yeah, as far as events, that's the only one I had. On there. All right, so, so this did, one you did get yeah, organized. Yeah, organized organized crime Tammy. Jam. Did, did, did Tammy move to Hawaii? Yeah, he did. What? Nice. Yeah, I saw him. I saw him. What island? Did he... uh, the Big Island. Damn. Yeah, because I saw him riding a park, and he said the island, and I was like, I've never seen that park in Maui or Oahu. So what? Caused Tammy's that? in Hawaii. Um, just that. That's news. That yeah. is news. Tammy's <laughs> for like San having, Diego news. Having trouble finding a place to rent cost of living being so expensive out here he's watching like i think it's his brother owns a split house that's partial airbnb oh cool. and it's on a huge property it's pretty remote so he's gonna watch like all the land and take care of it for the oh. place to live and he'll work for his brother cool doesn't get better than yeah. hawaii he was like he was excited to <laughs> yeah man yeah. i think he's gonna yeah. like it there cost of living well, not that much better than san diego though yeah, i'm not sure about that yeah. i wouldn't i wouldn't think so yeah it seems but, like the only place that's better than san diego as far as stateside goes for me yeah. personally um events that are coming people were like gonna hate that i said that but <laughs> now nah, he's living yeah. his, hawaii's his great place looks sick it looks awesome <laughs> i bet yeah. hawaii's like, super so... private you could live anywhere in hawaii on any of the islands and it's sick it's pretty sick yeah uh events that are coming swamp fest aka uh little tray flyer which i think we can see yeah right there uh february 17th waldo motorsports waldo florida um in conjunction not in conjunction with that um, we dropped the. This uh, was really good. Yeah, the documentary that this. Beach put together. Really good. Um, I mean, we, I could click anywhere, and it's and it's something, you know. So while you're eating um, lunch, you want to watch something good. Yeah, sixteen minutes. Pop just this puppy. Ev on. 
everything you wanted to know about last year's Swamp Fest. That's cool. Um, I've heard a couple of the ideas. It really it re- made me like, even though we did the podcast with Trey and everything, yeah. and this documentary was like, damn, a lot goes into this. Oh, yeah. Dude, oh, yeah. fuck. I, I already knew, you know, but this documentary really puts it in perspective. They built a house. It's <laughs> fucking crazy. <laughs> just, a castle. To, just to burn, burn it, it down. I feel like that would be the hardest part for me. Like, I know you'd have to burn it, but I'd be like... Can we just like work. save a little bit? Yeah. You know, like there's someone so want to take one of these quarters home or something. Yeah, like <laughs> burning it down. So burn. fun. Yeah, <laughs> like, like yeah. trailers for their dirt bikes. I'm excited. I'm going. You got so I was actually I booked my flight yesterday. Um, February. but you're you're ahead of the game. Yeah, I just and then so I was gonna get the Airbnb. So if you want to stay with me or the the hotel or whatever you want, or you want to camp, I, you know, whatever you want to do, I'll you, probably flake the weekend before. <laughs> <laughs> That happens. <laughs> I can't be. I'm not this. No, I really. I'm going. Okay, so but I can't. We, and then in the same in the off, same sense, of this podcast. Is, this is me. Uh, this is there's uh, the BMX Triple Challenge in Arlington, Texas. Is it going to be dirt jumps or the park again? Dirt jumps. Nice. I think. I'm cool. pretty sure. Um, no Anaheim. Huh. As far as I know, as of now, this is not official. Um, no Anaheim event, so nothing in January. Anaheim's the first Supercross, so... There's or Anaheim January. 1 and 2. Oh, okay. There's early January and late January. Um, okay. So there's no Anaheim because of scheduling conflicts. Arlington is always fucking freezing, so it sucks that it's back there. Yeah. Um, and then... Uh, we went the one year and it was like snowing. Like, yep, it was yeah. snowing. Like, yeah. It was actually... It, was like, it would snow, but it would melt on the ground, but it was snowing. Yeah. Um, and then uh, Denver in May, and then one other date... I can't remember what. And it's those that, are open, like, uh, open Glendale, invite, maybe right? open right. invite so dirt you event. Go, yeah, you want to so, go rip some dirt, and there may um, all that stuff could change. So, cool. um, if you want actual info, uh, don't trust me and go to uh, the at BMX Triple Challenge. They post everything on there. So, and this next month, there's also the Rosta Mesa Bowl. Rosta Bowl. Mesa, wow, wow there's two solid ones. Though. The second one last year was pretty really cool. Um, just, they just go take over the bowl at J1 the Volcom camp. Park. Yep. Juan yep. Zoga Zoga Loga Loga Loga. Cool how do you ass say dude. La- how do you say his last name? No idea. <laughs> Nobody does. He's from Columbia as well, though. Is he? Yep. Speaks like perfect English, though, so you never know. Longest tire slide, tombstone, best trick, ring the bell. Kind of like a turkey jam, you know, yeah. for, from, for up there. Yeah. Like they just do a bunch of fun events. Everyone so can be involved. They did that. It's cool. Um, let me go ahead and link that. That is what day does next weekend? December 9th. Next weekend. Shit. Yeah. Um, Fuck, I ain't got it's, no plans. Dude, let's I just get an Airbnb. You know what? I suck. We got my flight. Gary, Gary, I, <laughs> Gary called me today and he was like, hey, are you going to Rosta Mesa? He's like, you want a carpool? And I was like, yeah, I think I'm going. And I forgot it on the list. Okay. <laughs> I try and keep up. I got, got your couple stuff. a lot up. of shit to yeah. work yeah. 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 That's why I pushed it back a little bit tonight because I was like, dude, this is, I need yeah, more. Yeah, make sure you do it. Right? more. Yeah. But so. that's cool though. If you live in Southern California and you like transition, beautiful yeah. bowl, they're going to do a fun jam. Yeah. Last year was awesome. Um, Anything else? Uh, nope. Okay. Nope. Not for nope. Nope. events. Nope. That All right. See. Videos. We're going to try and make it quick unless you, you guys uh, say something. I'm going to just rip through these. Yeah. I'll just look through these that yeah. after. Feel free to tell me to shut up, too. No, dude, I feel like I'm the one that talks the most because I have the list in front of me. So, um, Lux Jam Brisbane, King of Brisbane, I think. Oh, this jam is sick. Pretty cool idea of just bringing the ramp. Um, and then the end, just a heavy rail yeah, session. Yeah, kicker, kickers are great. Kickers are great. Kickers are fun. Common, uh, a very uh, famous Wait. Australia rail, Calvin Kalsovich. Right? Uh, I think it's been destroyed by everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Yo. So. Jackarand. Jackarand leaves. Purple. We have him on our street. That's the only reason I know that. Um, Colt, act like you know. Collab. um, Fucking super cool video. Yeah, the video is awesome. Yeah, it was like, kind of like, the art aspect, the pure... um, I gotta get my time code here before I say it, before I gather my thoughts. But um, I, I just, I super really enjoyed this. Like uh, Tori Kish, Brock Rayford, I'm not gonna remember everybody's names. Murray, Wemmer, Simmons, Lashley. So um, super cool. Uh, Brock clips were obviously pretty wild, but the whole thing is 
is uh is highly enjoyable yeah super good filming cool little art direction and like really good use of film and shit love to see a raw bmx video yeah raw is a good way to put it 2023 brock put in work yeah is he a new addition to act like you know so those dudes are all like ohio so. right yeah i think he just kicked it in kind of like seemed met, like he lived like in new york or something him. he yeah. got a lot of footy out there this year but like he it's a cole act like so he's got to be he's not on cult so yeah. it's gotta, gotta assume it's funny because in the comments I'm on saying this, he put so much work in he wasn't a part of either of these crew, yeah and he's got a yeah. part yeah so just fucking um got footy everywhere i was just out there kicking it and then those dudes were out riding you just run up riding with them yeah like you yeah. gotta film some clips you're pretty fucking good at riding <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh three oh shit is it still playing in the background sorry uh 315 another stalled at edit i feel like he's not not brock level but like in the sense of like he's always out filming with grant oh, yeah. you know like they not three video parts level is what i mean but like always putting out solid footage yeah just someone who loves riding yeah damn going out because he wants to ride <laughs> that was awesome grant's really about it too like oh, as yeah. a filmer I, yeah, like he is that. down yeah I feel like these days nobody is filming more bike riding than Grant. Nah. Mm, yeah. Super hardworking dude. Yeah. Maybe a hell of a bike rider. Big salad over in Australia. Yeah. yeah. He puts out a lot of yeah. good stuff too. He did give me a little background about what he does. He is he is the filmer for Lux. And nice. so he's but he is also like he just loves it and is just out doing his own thing on yeah. top of that as well. So Was that crank arm to crank flip? Mm -hmm. yeah. that was sick yeah he dude he yeah. does he that has like a lot of cool sick. uh creative ideas yeah that was really a couple good. of like the the 180 crank that was a lucky there, to super, super win yeah. <laughs> yeah the combo you see all the time a little overdone honestly i want to see crank flip to crank slide down a big rail that one's hard I've there was um there was some kid did I? from I new like hampshire literally i'm having do... deja vu because i think i told you this before and you're like that one's hard i tried to, <laughs> I, I, I tried to learn that one that one's really because that's the sickest trick like, there's um there's a crazy dude that does, rail trick he does crank flip to back pedal ice mm. and then there back in the day there was a kid from new hampshire i remember he used to do kick flip to hangers oh that one was sick because if you've ever done a kick flip to was really you gnarly. can get smoked on that trick that's i didn't even think of that hell yeah yeah, crank flip to crank arm though is such a cool like yeah. the crank flip to crank or hanger seems like yeah that's i'm not asking anyone to do that one they're they're both super dangerous uh the right the riley smith clips that i was talking about are here merit um it's five o'clock somewhere 18 minute full length um kind of like mixtape mix tape status uh filmed by eddie c who after I was going through these clips like an hour or two ago, I was like, I should have called Eddie too. Texted Eddie to come oh, on yeah. the podcast because we talked to for for the news thing. He said he was down, so yeah, he would definitely pop up. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Garrett, you were like our fifth choice. I know, <laughs> Kyle Carlson, <laughs> Daniel Dares. It was Dares, uh, the Huffy TM, Demo. <laughs> Jason. <laughs> Jason. Jason Forgot. is the hobby team. <laughs> Forgot oh, yeah. he was in Australia. No. <laughs> Damn, let's see. <laughs> Throw the bottle. Um, <laughs> full 18. Oh, wait. And then the... Am I going to be able to find it quick? Put your fucking phone on silent. Mm, forgot about that. I was going to do the Mike Brennan shout out. Oh, sick. Douche. so sick love to see him on the bmx bike yeah that's the same thing that hoder hopped into right uh, i'm pretty sure yeah. yeah brennan still got it still got it he's done some of the craziest the, shit yeah. mm. <laughs> the one the one at the school of elboa park oh the sprocket over is crazy <laughs> i have those photos somewhere <laughs> god should we just find that what it's insight right the yeah, picnic table setup uh, yeah yeah it's like the Tony Hawk Pro Skater setup to the like eight foot tall fence. Let's just like find it just bank. to show him because we, I feel like this is this topic is not going to show up very often, so we might as well. 
Yeah, I remember being like new to here, and I think I was riding with Wong, and he was like, "Yeah." And then there's the spot Mike Brennan did the sprocket over, and I was like, "What? How would he get up?" Oh, okay. Like I was just like super confused. I was like, "You sure?" <laughs> I O D. Yeah, was the that he did the the pucker? It was like the, the his butthole puckering that he'd do. He'd be like, he'd be like, he would do that. yeah, he'd be like, <laughs> I didn't know about this. be like, oh, you got this, and he's like. Oh yeah, <laughs> that was it, but that was signifying that I'm sweating this shit. <laughs> His it butthole so pucker sweating right now. <laughs> it's so sick. There it is. <laughs> Here we'll go a clip before and just to enjoy. Oh, uh, it doesn't. Dude, it's not... dude, it it shows it, but in real life, it's so nice. Nice. <laughs> so that is so. So nice. for for reference, I'm I'm that's me right there, and I'm six foot one. So should, I'm like a little yeah. hunched over, but and that's Brennan's like six feet. foot four, probably. Yeah, he's a big dude. He's a too. big dude. <laughs> that's a big fence. <laughs> did it perfect. Did yeah, it perfect. looks fun. <laughs> like if you could do it. Yeah. Um. All right. Shout out to Mike Brennan. Uh, Trey Jones, Colt, NYC. Again, this is always just uh, videos that we thought were like, you know, the the better ones of the month, the best ones of the month that we think you are that are worth your time. So, um, just another Trey video. Yeah, he's been know. doing a lot. Yeah, he has been doing a lot. So I, we just the whole thing is sick. But um, Russ Barone and Trey riding trails is fucking cool. Yeah. So. Um, there he is. Yeah, he's the man. Yeah. So there's curve wall rides a tray. There's pool riding a tray, but we saw a lot of that recently. The tray, the the trail footage was super cool. I thought, um, whole thing is awesome. Four Seasons had a cool jam. Four Seasons, very, very oh, their early jam was 2000 super style. Sick. They built the hitching post, and it looked sick. How the fuck do I find that? People are going uh, in it too. F Seasons. I'm typed. Four Seasons. Sorry, before I know we're getting into the videos, but I was like, no, oh, that good. was one that I saw. No, I, I, that, I and that know. looked really cool. And I'm sure there's a billion we miss, but I try and keep up on the ones that I saw at least. Better to bring it up than leave it out. Yes, because it looked good. No. Yeah, it looks super sick. It's build kinda... a hit, build a hitching post, and 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 they built a hitching post and they put like a spine in the middle of the bowl. Like they yeah. added a couple I things. I did see and it that was like, actually. Yeah. What can you find it and then just send it to me because yeah. I can't find. It. No, they I'll put it work. They put like a roller coaster rail in and some like kinkery yeah. and stuff. Was it another Dominic Travato jam? Did they call I'm, it a Dominic? I'm not jam? sure. I believe yeah. um, Jeff Klugowitz hit me up about it. I believe it's he has part part to do with it, but okay. I just didn't know if it was like another memorial jam for for Dominic. I just got reminded of that, but I thought I saw something about it. Legends so. of the Fall. Legends yeah. of the Fall. Two day right. after this Maddie video. Fiend, uh, uh, Garrett, we'll talk about this one. What? Oh, Maddie, Maddie? <laughs> He's the sickest dude, dude. <laughs> He's the nicest Maddie. guy. He's a, seriously, yeah. He's like one of those people you kick it with, and you're like, "Damn, I'm a dick." <laughs> like, I should just be nicer and cooler. He does the he does like like the kids BMX lessons yeah. and all that stuff. Like, yeah, yeah. He's probably so good for that. Yeah, just yeah. like going on trips with him and seeing how like just good of a communicator and just positive of a person he is. Yeah. Like, no. Yeah. So premium or not premium? <laughs> premium. <laughs> premium. Man, I'm really hitting it tonight. Primo, okay. until I can. Dale's like, video. Dale's video. Yeah, it's not even Dale's the Dale's. Video. I wish yeah, I could. I we wish I could make a Dale's trip video. I wish I RBMX could blame it. Vacation <laughs> Dale's video. <laughs> Where are we going, Garrett? Uh, gotta go to Mexico. Grand Canaria. Minnie's living there. <laughs> Grand Canaria. Oh, there you sick. go. Transition street spots. That was a. Um, it was like ten spots, and then it's vacation. Wait, what was it called? <laughs> Legends of the Fall. Yeah, I sent it to you. Oh. Via text? Yes. Sorry. Should I have emailed it? I mean, dude. Just going through. Oh, okay. Let me see if they just have stuff on their Instagram. Oh, we forgot about ACT, too. <sighs> I got to hit you up. I got to no, hit you up the day before. November was a busy month. It was. It was ACT a busy month. Too. It's funny because there's like no events happening. So everything, everybody yeah. got everything done in November. So, um, where the it's okay hell? that's i'm just going through right no now. you're like, good I, there's not many more that's it for news that would be the last act that was sick as fuck so we can't forget that that would put a hurting on us as being so domesticated 
I don't we see any. ACT. They don't have any footage from from this. Where was their? Uh, fuck? I don't know, dude. I don't know. I seen I seen some clips. I from, think shit. Uh, yeah, popping Trent's, off. Trent's Instagram and Jeff Jeff Kluwitz, Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, but I just seen highlights. I was like, damn, it looks. I'd give anybody look pretty sick. I'd give anybody two bucks right now if they can get if they can get Jeff's instant, <laughs> instant name right. <laughs> I have no. <laughs> <laughs> uh delay a game right now it's okay pause it we, no we can say the secret word you're, to pause it. you're building anticipation for the sub rail tricks that are about J- to go it's down it's just jk lugwitz yeah but you can't spell that that's what right. i jk I to, I'm doing it on the computer Wickets. yeah jk i have it on here lug i w just show his clip there was a sub rail and i love that a cool little sub rail you could just yeah and he pulled his classic that shit he's so good Ice, so tire tap, bar like, fakey. Yeah, I was going to say, I haven't seen any riding footage of him, like, super recently. And <laughs> I saw was, that, I was like, that was fucking yeah. sick. He doesn't look like he's aged today, either. Probably doesn't. Looking is, looks better than ever. Yeah. Yeah, it is a Dom Bomb. Dom Bomb forever. Dominic Travato. Fuck so, yeah. So, shout out to Dom. Shout out to that contest. Just building little things like that. Like, yeah. we always talk about how to do a good jam, and it's like, like that ramp right there would chill. People would fuck yeah. that up. Yeah. yeah. That's sick. They had a little TNT thing. Something that would be at a Metro Jam. <clears throat> um, okay. Cool. Sorry about that. No, you're good. You're good. No, I, I think I closed the window. ACT. Though. ACT. Jam. And then <laughs> move on. Um, was that Backbone? Yep. I saw the trails. That was another one, though, that like my, is just like all over Instagram. I don't know where the, like the actual highlight videos are. Maybe they're still working on it. That's so but this one was crazy. They built the sickest looking trails ever. Oh, is that that's just a jam with like the huge curved wall and stuff too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they did the crazy trails in the park section with the curved wall. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know if I've seen a full video. I just yeah, I don't saw some so. shit on Instagram. Yeah, another one. I don't know. We're, sorry, I don't have the highlights. No, you're good. Look at these trails they built though. Like literally, could be like the best contest trails ever, or the best tr- jam trails ever. But like, I haven't seen trails that good in f- so long. I saw like Chris Fox and Jason posting on them this when is, they were building. This is Tyson, right? Instagram they start game. further up too. Just so good. And they yeah. built ACT weekend of fun. Yeah. So they don't even fuck. They had a live stream of it, which is insane. That's crazy. Yeah. Look at these trails. Just perfect. Well, we'll talk about it next month look at when these. the official highlights come out because I see so nothing. Fun so fun yeah you want to give it just i saw some highlights that yeah were really yeah. sick yep all right i mean i saw like the dovey clips and stuff mm-hmm. like that yeah that's why i wanted to shout out yeah. I, I thought we'd have a highlights ready yeah. i was just looking no. at my notes i was like Nothing. we didn't say anything about act act looked awesome once again yeah there's jason down there there he is <laughs> bottom left i'm gonna go to that gym lewis me always too. tells me that gym's the shit mm-hmm. um all right back to videos yeah our house Two minutes, seven seconds. I think it's like a German disc. Yeah, this was a good video. Produced by Freedom. Going back to Freedom again. Marcus Wilkie. Um, solid crew. Felix. Who else is it? I, there's one name. Bruno, Felix, Killian, and Mo Nussbumber. Four amazing riders. Yeah. In a bunch of spots you never see. The drop manual. Oh, that was sick. <laughs> Killian's so good. Mm-hmm. I feel like they, there was this, that rail, I feel like they filmed some stuff that they didn't put in the video. You know what I mean? Like, like one yeah, clip they, on that they, thing. Maybe saving shit. Know. All these guys work on crazy parts. Yeah. Honestly, like, oh I, my God. These dudes are super active. Yeah. Yeah. They probably save shit. They're not scared to. This clip is sick as Even like. Yeah. One of these motherfuckers grinded that I know. rail. Killian's there and he doesn't yes. slide a fucking 700 stair rail. Yeah. What is what? Someone grinded that thing. Or did some tires did yes. somehow. Tires a ledge for sure. Or he already did, so he didn't do it again. That is a possibility. <laughs> He's like, oh, I already did that. All right. Uh, Reed Casey 
um, Good Dudes podcast. I honestly did not listen to this. I cannot listen to this, but it's... uh I cannot listen to this. Not in the sense of, like, bad, but I just... Dude, it's Pat. I just can't. Yeah. You know, okay, it's yeah. like... Like, I feel like I've, like, felt all of that stuff, and I, like, just... Like, not that I can compare anything to, yeah, to yeah. Shane and W and, and, uh, and Reed, of course, but it's like... I just can't yeah. get myself to want no, to listen to it. So It's really hard to listen to, for sure. Like, but... They're um, drinking beer that's not as good as Dale's. <laughs> true. So Shout uh, out to their podcast, but but yeah, that's uh, hour long with with Reed. I'm sure it's uh, intense at at points. Yeah. Um, so, but I'm sure it's also a good listen. Mm-hmm. So, um, obviously, still bad every day for me. So, um, Charlie Crumlish, word up. <laughs> uh 135 well the first the first clip's pretty funny too <laughs> piano spots uh 130 128 128 is good enough what is that what do you what do you do with that mid-grade marijuana <laughs> <laughs> how much a gram <laughs> What? Pegs. Lots of lots of pegs. He's so good to have cabin back to rails and shit. Yeah. That was sick. So Oh, that was a banger. Oh, it's only two minutes long? I thought, I thought I remember it being longer. Sorry. Didn't mean to do the banger. Um Jack Miller, who we talked about recently. This is just a quick one, but uh 154. new federal edition right is that what it was yeah pretty recent yeah. i believe yeah it was from here on pretty new uh cinema edition as well oh yeah that's what it is too but it seems like kind of a almost like i want to say cruiser edit but like this is his first edit out for federal and he's kind of just like normal session stuff but um i thought there was another clip immediately after that sorry going a little bit more for the lifestyle kind of thing yeah i thought there were Time codes. Studded yeah. belts are coming back. Yeah. Remember those? <laughs> <laughs> They're here. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm seeing them pop up like crazy at the skate park. Zebra, zebra headband. Yeah. If I take a slam, I might wake up in the wrong year. <laughs> <laughs> uh, pedaling along the wall. Oh, what is this video? Uh, Chris Bunnich. Oh, I've never seen this. I ain't never uh, seen this. Yo. But a bunch of cool clips, and then I think I had uh, maybe two time codes. Let me double check real quick. Keep moving though. But no, just that. So there, the it gets better. But we don't need to spoil the entire video when we have yeah. like sixteen this other videos. This was video. crazy, dude. Yeah. This kid's insane. Such a good park video. The whole thing, he just goes nuts. The more park edits, like kind of similar to what we're talking about, not fee style, but just like this is yeah, yeah. classic. Yeah, just using oddball. Look parts at this, dude! This dude's yeah. insane. This edit is amazing. Don't sleep on this one if you like park riding. I think we're actually gonna like re up and host this on. It's on our so channel, fucking good. I think it only had like five thousand views on colonies, and well, I don't know try to get a little more love yeah it's so good. like in, a, in it's so good yeah so, but yeah. that's um, solid solid the, move the banger too is obviously way, like way too casual it's because i feel like he he puts out a lot in colony you see a lot from maybe and because I, I almost was like eh, i don't know if i'm gonna watch this look at this it was like the <laughs> biggest hard 270 ever i almost didn't watch it and i watched it and i was like what the fuck oh well, i was sick Hell yeah, dude. This guy. Sam Grace. Good old park video. Chill. He needs to chill. Nah, keep going. <laughs> Go crazier. Big salad. Um, war potty. War party. Every month war I think he puts something out for us. War potty is what my kid does. War party war is what Big Salad does. 
Big Sally. Um, I guess this is just like a new video project. Almost kind of like tear the club up. Like, I don't know if there's a full length in the works, but... Hmm. Dude, the... It's really good, though. Yeah. I had to watch this. The intro is sick. Like, the whole the whole vibe is fucking cool as hell. I'll turn it back up a little bit so we don't get... Maybe we don't get in trouble, but probably. <clears throat> Dude can churn out videos. Though. I know. Seems like every month. Yeah. Like good ones too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's a good filmer. I always wonder when it comes down to that stuff if he's like. Boyd just... is, new, is uh, Jason's new sponsor. <laughs> send him a frame. Send him a frame. <laughs> I'll send you a frame. <laughs> I always just wonder if if uh, if Troy can just like make decisions quickly or if he'd like and he just doesn't sweat it. You know, like he's yeah. like confident in what decision he's making right off the bat that too and if i feel like if you have like a quick turnaround on videos you're like a little bit oh, chiller cool. about putting yeah. something out you're like yeah. you're already working on another one if if i don't like That's that decision point. in four months then fuck it on the next one's coming yeah this isn't forever yeah. <laughs> yeah um but full video for we got another minute and a half definitely worth a watch yeah it's a good one um jerks a sydney bmx video i did not i have seen this, this. one 17 minutes is what the time code is though so that's we don't got time for that in the news podcast no nah, we'll man, watch that clip seven but you got time for that if you want to watch some bmx yeah jerk jerk you're a jerk <laughs> yeah that's right mm -hmm. i think Ooh. Well, Yo. <laughs> in the kangle Sydney BMX scene? Is that Jimmy? Oh. Back of the Kangol took all of it. <laughs> Couldn't see. You can't see his face. <laughs> um, Sydney BMX cool video jerks us yeah. from Australia insane. Uh, 22 minutes. So um, definitely give that a watch. Sunday bunched up. Zach, another hardworking one. Ooh, yeah. Zach is killing it. Is it three? Dude, I my brain. 334. I had to look at it three times to remember what the number was. Elstrand. Yeah, Zach's always working on parts with people, That's always crazy. putting out like bunched up and feast, like just constant Odyssey Sunday. Good quality stuff coming out. Cool way to work too. Like there's not too much pressure on mm -hmm. one person. It's like 10 people working together on separate projects and yeah. they're all going to come out collectively. And it's crazy because the heart of it is all Zach. You yeah. Know? And sure. Scott shooting the photos. I mean, really cool. It's the film. It's like got to be the filmer, you know? Yeah. Dynamic duo. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And it's like, dude, it's like every month there's a Sunday or Odyssey, something good coming out. Yeah. Yeah. Because Zach's a, Zach enjoys writing too. So he's like, even if we don't get anything, I'm psyched, you know, I'm psyched to be out. Yeah. He doesn't want to be in the office. Loves yeah. it. Um, Basil, stranger at it. Um, not from Barcelona. He's from like Finland or something. He actually messaged me and now I don't remember. First clip. It was like six months ago. But <laughs> Fool's got steez. He's the kid that did the crazy crank flip, right? The yeah. big one? Yeah. That's sick. Is that that same spot from the uh, from the cash up? Dude, this guy is Could be. Swaggy. That was crazy. It's cool that kind of architecture is becoming more and more popular. Right. Like banks with like little benches built into them and stuff. Someone's going to have to have the double. <laughs> there's, a, there's a stack of, there's another box of the light ones in there. But yeah, this guy's um, easy. You know, last video was amazing. This one's great too. So it, it's just the unexpected shit. The shit that you have to watch. Like he hit his, he, I'm pretty sure he hit his back, his front tire on the ledge. Like slid it. Yeah, you know, like it's like the quick shit. You know, like yeah. that. Like you so worth a watch. I'm a I'm a Basil fan. I don't even know if I'm saying his name right, but I'm a fan of however it is. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen him besides that huge crank flip. Yeah. That that first video was fucking awesome. Yeah, that I remember seeing that. I was like Yeah. It's the biggest one for sure that I've ever seen. Yeah. From bunched up to feast. Who's this guy? Thanks. I didn't put this time code in. Nice little San Diego spot. 
Yeah, this one's cool. Zach was making full parts. Well, Boyd filmed all of his stuff like 10 days after X Games. Just stayed out, filmed all of it. And then Santee came out, worked on his thing, and then Milky's part. And then anyone else who was like, yeah, if you don't have anything, if you want to use it for... Because I know this Vegas trip, they went out there to start filming on other stuff. So it was just like, yeah, Justin, you want to put some clips towards Feast? And the mix section came out good. It's, this it's, was uh Jaren's so good, dude. Yeah. yeah. Love to watch Jaren ride. That's that school up and he didn't right. even tell us what he was gonna do. And I was like, I wasn't expecting a 180 whip. He's like, dude, Zach's pointing a real camera at me. <laughs> He's like, I don't get a real camera, you know? Like I'm always filming with oh, you know. And you I, did that? Ooh. That thing's brand new. That's you seen that spot? I feel like I feel like I've seen that spot. That's there in North County. Maybe it just looks like another spot. Old uh classic Huntington Beach spot. Fun yeah. little day up there with Zach. Jeff Rally Hubba. <laughs> this was sick. I like this clip. Yeah, forever. Fucking cruising. <laughs> Had to get some fun ones for the mix section. Well, this last last clip for us. Should have barred it. I mean, no one. I was like, no one's ever jumped into <laughs> no this, bar, bro. Like, how the fuck? Just, Zach, Zach was stoked on it. Just joking. Um... Lucas Zach loves skate shit. He was like John Dixon, all I did, dude. Exactly. It is John crazy Dixon though because there's no, it well, is. there's just that pole right there that yeah. I was like, I'm gonna jump it, and I was just the, started eyeing it up, and I was like, this is actually scary. As yeah, and it, you kind of the the rail is tall, so if you jump in, you land where it starts to turn. Yeah, kind of sketchy. And he's like, dude, I've been, I want to film we'll someone go, doing it. We'll go back to it. Sorry, oh, it's, it's no, you're it. fine. I draw it out. It. I want to see what you guys are talking just about. Just that pole. Oh, Everything's just yeah. super close. I never, I, dude, I never even that's, saw that's that. That's why I know no one thinks that's crazy, but I was actually kind of scared to do that. The bank kind of like... Whoa, that, that, that pole like that, appeared you, out of nowhere. You yeah. have to just jump. And I have a, I don't have a real hop at all. I have a <laughs> shitty hop. So for me, that was like, I'm fucking going to bunny hop this thing. Oh my God. You'd be <laughs> well, dead if you can't. Oh well, Zach, I'll do this, but let me go grab the raw hawk kicker. Yeah, no, I would have a kicker out of it. Like, and we'll it. set it twenty feet back. There it's was that, a fence it's that pole that you'll never see that made it a little bit scary. Yeah, yeah, that's why no one's bunny hopping. Yeah, in real life, it's way gnarly. Thanks for having us back, Garrett. Thank you, Garrett. I'm here for moral support. Yeah, because <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people are like, "Why the fuck did Zach put that as a?" I feel like last of the mix. Specific sick. styles of street riding are kind of like that. It's really hard to understand. For sure. You see it in real life, you're like, oh. I feel like no, just nobody has ever gone to a spot and goes like, oh, that's easier than I thought it was in the video. Sometimes, pretty sometimes, rare, sometimes rare, the really rare, perfect rare, ones, you're yeah. like, I could see it. Yeah. <laughs> it's the fisheye, like, little <laughs> rail clips. You're like, dude, this thing is perfect. Like, you've only seen it with a yeah, fisheye. You know? yeah, like, yeah, dude, yeah. you couldn't get hurt on this thing. And sometimes you're like, okay, he was he was having a day. But dudes like Ty, Rob, and Brock, yeah. when you go to their spots, yeah. you're always like, yeah what yeah yeah like how in the fuck did they do that because the big hop stuff is so hard to give justice in footage yeah. that high bunny hop shit. Are tall. <laughs> yeah they are, they are. and so bar height to show. bar height's like the the gauge you yeah. know and it's like and bar height changes bar height has changed quite a bit yeah. over the years yeah so it's hard to tell you got those are the ones you go to in real life and you're like you guys are so crazy damn that real looks sick lucas figgles faller lucas figgles faller i think I apologize for what I just did to your last name, Lucas. <laughs> sure, it happens Stop. all the time. <laughs> <laughs> My last name is Fudger, so. Been, you've been made fun of since zero. Since day zero. <laughs> so, uh, Kink Am, I think it was. I don't want to say Flow. I think it, he was Flow. He had like a Flow video, and now they bumped him to Am. So, that's sick. And then uh, maybe the next one. Bro, six so figgles, um, dollar, right? Mm. Mm. Out there getting it with the Jenny. I love to totally see it. Totally wrong, yeah. No Jenny anymore. The kids use lithium ion. I batteries. just got them, they're sick as fuck. <laughs> 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 you know, same thing. <laughs> no Jenny, no, you don't need them anymore. Battery lights, batteries for like four hours, yeah. They're just as light as a film. No kit. more like uh, gas falling in the back of the car and more. <laughs> That's done. Getting kind of high. What's going on? Man. <laughs> put, the, put that gas can on. Dude, uh, our first generator there. was so heavy. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, if you didn't get, a, if you didn't get one of the Honda everywhere. ones, dude. Yeah, yeah. the Honda. Very and then the gen- most expensive. Well, not the most expensive one, but it yeah. felt like it because yeah. that was the one you needed. $1,300 for light? Yeah. 
No. That's how much these things are? What? The new ones? No, no that's the Honda generators. The new ones, oh. I got uh, I got a pair of them, like three of them for like, I think it was like seven fifty. dollars Off of Alibaba. But then, no, but then you got to buy the uh, batteries, and the batteries are like two fifty a piece. And that's four hours and three lights up a whole spot? Yeah. Four hours in each battery. Each, each, each battery lights one light. Damn. But they're super sick. I love them. They're like insane. It's like night yeah. and day. Makes no, lighting no spot cord. sounds more fun. No cords. Yeah. You just move shit around wherever you want. You just like, nice. is it have a mount? So it just, you put the battery on the light? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then you, yeah, you hang it. It's like you, a V mount thing. You basically put it at the bottom. Yeah, completely quiet. Yeah. Yeah. No, Ooh. no sound at all. Yeah. yeah. That's super kinda, slick. That's kind of what those are actually. Like they have a V mount attachment, but yeah. I don't use them for that. But that's yeah. Yeah. really cool. Futuristic. That's, all right. Yeah. Plus, with camera technology and the low light stuff, yeah, it's like it's night night riding. Yeah, it's gonna pop off even harder. Uh, all that all that lithium talk. I forgot the time code. Forty two seconds. Who's even that? this time is that of the year. Dog or is that the kid? That's dog? The, yeah, you mind just just close the door. What you doing, big you guy? Let him stay. Shh! Don't make noise. Cannon sleeps like a rock. He's just joking about keeping him up. Ooh, this dude's sick. That was sick. Half cab hanger pop over. Yeah. Ooh, damn. <laughs> that was awesome. Who is? I know it's Bungay. That's yeah, like Daniel Bungay, UK. Damn. Every single clip has been very unexpected. <laughs> What? <laughs> I've seen that. I've seen him do that before. That was sick. All right. Can can two, two minutes. Two That's minute sick. video, but entertainment value. Yeah. Right. So shout out to Daniel. Um, group chat video that we posted the other day. Uh, seven minutes, twelve seconds. Clawson, all the Vegas locals. Um. I put the thing. I put the banger in there. So sick. Yeah. Is this before Clausen got hurt, or has he just been like... Um, yeah, so even if you see in the background, you can see him with his, like, in basically like a wheelchair or chair filming a lot of the homies <laughs> yeah. and stuff. Like a true trooper that he is. But yeah, I would guess all his footage just has to be before. Yeah. He's kind of just getting back to just it now. Just getting back, right? Yeah. Hell yeah, Matt. <clears throat> yeah. They Seven, got a dope little scene. Yeah, eight minutes, um, solid video, cool-ass video. Um, the last two clips, Dakota Brat. I should probably just film this. This guy's this. been killing it forever too. Yeah, he's the one that he did a manual flip manual. Yeah, right? yeah. That's I was gonna say. That's how I know him. Yeah, he's the manual flip manual yeah. dude. He's sick. That was sick, dude. That is a. I was sick. I'm not just whoa. Remember that really that was weird, a crazy thought. That, that was, was a wild thought to do that. That is wild. It was a crazy, crazy trick at a crazy spot, and I was still processing the previous spot. So yeah. I was like, dude, that was. Remember that really weird park we went to on the way to Vegas with Felix on like our last Nike trip. It was mm -hmm. yeah, it's like the Bakersfield Park or Barstow Park or something. Uh, yeah, I think that's oh, I heard a, yeah, he was Barstow the local park. there. Yeah, I think probably totally the one wrong. that's really small it's just a weird it was cool it was just like really weird yeah yeah it's like it's got some street spots that it is too uh pat falico this dude kills it yeah all right mm -hmm. trying to rip through these oh shit we've been there oh yeah this dude was killing an act jam oh really yeah he had some highlights Wait, were you? Did you go? I didn't go. I just seen oh, like, you saw the, the highlights and yeah. like he did some super gnarly stuff. You guys will talk about next month. Fair enough. <laughs> no, we're supposed to talk about it on this one, but dude, if they don't have <laughs> if official... they don't have the video, okay, we... yeah, because that's why we have a, we had a couple of Halloween things. Plus, if they delayed, we had so many videos this month. On next month, yeah, they're gonna get a lot more love. Yeah, because December's chill. Yeah. So Pat always kills it. Uh, how long is that one? Four minutes. Got to reserve like two hours. Four minutes of fire, baby. 
um, outside video with DeMarcus. Who the hell put this in here? We don't put our own videos in here. Rub your own back. <laughs> I mean, dude, I removed like three of them. <laughs> yeah. 748. I think we dropped this today. I think it's the hanger probably. Yeah. The Pegs hanger pop out was done yeah. so fucking perfect. What do you, What are you reading? Just the new stuff. Was that Trace Colt part wasn't on here? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Oh, that was the New York, New York one. one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Nathan's face in the <laughs> Yeah. Out of all the sketchy stuff Nathan does. Yeah. Stressed oh, on him getting caught on the bench. <laughs> I thought it was. Oh. Let's get to the clip. Where are we at? Oh, this is the second time, code. Does it take that long? <laughs> These are cool. So are you guys kind of just like random with it? Or are you yeah, I mean, it's just a, yeah, it's just yeah, an yeah. ODI video that we do occasionally. Kind of like that. Too. It's just cool. Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel like it? <laughs> I like these. Every one of these is cool. Damn. He's got such b good balance. If you watch his knees when he grinds, his knees never go left or right. No, he's just yeah. literally standing over top of whatever he's grinding. Yep. It is crazy. Yeah. It's funny because it, even him, you'll see if you watch the full video, you see him fall a few times. Yeah. And so not like demo. Grace, yeah. Yeah, not demo to for him to try something 10 times. Yeah. You know, like like the and this speaking of we're, calvin started a new youtube channel yeah that's what i was gonna say is i think this i is, started I haven't... that i was drunk as fuck at his house <laughs> talking to him about a youtuber and he was just like mate i have so much footage i could just put on i was like do it yeah like why yeah. not yeah i don't know if i started it but i helped motivate this <laughs> and uh and it's was sick, so sick. It's yeah the sick. hard 180 fakey uh subscribe to calvin's youtube because yeah. he's got so much good footage of so many people yeah calvin he did he did a he's three gonna part some... background of uh look at Dakota he's doing thing. sick shit yeah subscribe he's got a he's got a uh, up his energy here though up his energy <laughs> i've been told the same exact thing you're like oh, like well you're, you're like he's probably nervous to put on that fake shit. hello guys yeah welcome well to he doesn't YouTube. need to do that but like you gotta just you gotta drink a, a fucking bit. coffee and go yeah, for it cal exactly and you just sound crazy <laughs> this <laughs> dude fucking yeah. loves this shit <laughs> yeah no just do what you want calvin no, that's sick you're right i think all oh, i'm just i was a shit. filmer i'd have a youtube channel of like my archives and stuff that's what i was saying like, to him i, don't know, I, I think was like cool. dude if it, one of them pops off it's you get youtube revenue and then the rider gets coverage like why not yeah, yeah even if it doesn't it's more people viewing your work exactly all this time went into it. yeah and if it doesn't then yeah people it's the like, people it's who do see it kind of cool it. for the clips to have a second life and he was like adding context on the dakota stuff it was like all the it was like him talking about it on like almost like doing the podcast with us yeah about it you know so yeah i'm sure um, there's a lot of kids that would like to hear that yeah yeah but or grown men or grown yeah. men <laughs> murray back again that was sick <laughs> he's so good mm -hmm. yeah I haven't seen this. Self film Just stuff? A, I, it looks that way. Wow. Yeah, I don't know if there's a huge scene in South Africa. I believe that's where he's from. He always sure, seems like he meets there. up with like really good filmers and stuff like that, so he's always so fucking good. Yeah, he's well rounded like, as well. He's like CK. Like when you watch him ride in real life, like he never misses tricks. Yeah. And that, that Walls video he did was so fucking mm -hmm. good. And that was like two months ago. So, yeah. um, Antonio Smallwood, I think this just dropped today. This yeah. is really good with REA and him. A couple young bloods. Yeah. One minutes. month just putting in good video parts. Four minutes in. The whole video is good, but yeah. Whoa. It's pretty hard to do a time code with this one because I feel like from beginning to end, it's pretty solid. Yeah. It, really solid. Tony is super good, dude. It's a well put together video part for. Is he young? Because I heard like. Wow, the that was crazy. This that. He's, he's pretty young. So, probably like, I don't know, maybe like 19 to 21. That's young, yeah. Like that. And the video part like is, like you can see it's well thought out. Like from beginning to end, it's good. It's not just like you got to watch the last couple bangers. Yeah, this clip see. Fuck yeah. Wow. 
Yeah, this is yeah, a good one. That was four heavy clips. Even the the, 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 pe- the it pegs, all like goes together the really well. Five like it's looked like out. it was a Peg's Hard Three, and mm-hmm. then it just was like, yeah. yeah, crazy. It's a good video. That's that's what I will watch. That I wanted to say that about like him and Rea, like two youngsters that put out like parts that weren't just like, I got a banger, and then I just did a bunch of filler. Yeah. They were like nice, yeah. like. So a little more thought into it. It's not like you had to do it. You're like, yeah. oh, I want to make something that's dope. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. It's cool to see two, at least two of them this month, like with really young kids killing it. Yeah. Um, Burn Slow Japan. I didn't get a chance to watch this one either. I, this is very slow and artsy and really cool. I literally put just the beginning. Like I felt like the beginning was it's, like it's cool, it's awesome. Like cool. to see yeah. their trip and everything they did. And it's yeah. like, but Devin killed it with like, it's very Got artsy and cool. Cinematography. Mm-hmm. And obviously Jane's in it. Killed it. And then they showed a lot of the local scene. Japan's the best. It is. And watch this whole thing. It'll motivate you to go travel and ride. Swinging in the back. So cool to see Jaden on fly and yeah. burn slow doing cool shit. Traveling the world. Mm-hmm. Um, And that is it for videos. That was a lot of videos. I got honestly. more. Do you have more? Hell yeah. Mother. Dude. Seven uh, more. <laughs> right. You Mickey missed Flex this. Etnies part. You miss this. And Mickey you Flex this. Etnies part. That shit. Of course, I miss. Him. It's every month. Yeah. This <laughs> he dropped another one. I think. I missed this one. Let's see if I'm not in between. No, months. you're right. You're right. I saw. I saw something. Um, let me just search the site. Maybe. I told you, dude. Wrong month. I wrong? told you, dude. No, that's the name of the video. Oh. <laughs> I told you it was probably right in the beginning. What's that? It's probably like right in them that transition where we just finished one of the. It was good though. November third. Yeah. 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 Exactly. It's always good, Mickey. Oh, actually, I watched. I watched this. Give it a couple of seconds. Obviously, uh... he's in. uh, He was just in Japan, and he's. Going to Brazil, so there's more on the way for yeah. sure. <laughs> Every month, we love it. Mickey in Japan has got to be hilarious. <laughs> that, was, uh, some, that was some quality. Oh B, that was some quality B wall right there. <laughs> One random thing. When, when's a fiend video dropping? We're still working on. It. <laughs> How's it coming? Good. Scan there. <laughs> yeah. I heard you did say you were waiting for Matt to be healthy so he could have yeah. a proper part. Yeah, so, he's yeah. he's uh, Matt's gonna have a banger part. Yeah. His part's really close to being done, I think. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's been talks of breaking the video up or waiting. It's kind of just up in the air. Yeah, understandable. It's like you don't want to put too much pressure on him, especially after an injury like that, to yeah. try to get back quick. And yeah, like, I've been kind of saying that because Tony's like, oh, Matt's, you know, Matt's mad. He'll be back in no time. I'm like, yeah, but like. Just after that, you don't want to be like put him out there on a trip too soon. You know what I mean? You, he won't. He won't outwardly feel that. Pre- make oh, you feel like that pressure is there, he but would, he will feel. He that would pressure. absolutely yeah. never. I feel yeah. that pressure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but any, his part's coming out great. Anything else? Yeah, I have a cool video that Josh Irvine from Australia sent over, and it's a bunch of twelve to sixteen year olds that oh, kill okay. it. It's really cool. I'm gonna send it to you right now. Yeah, I watched it. I was like, this is awesome. And it's like, obviously, like, it's got like 500 views. That's YouTube's brutal these days, too. Yeah, it's hard. That's why it's cool when people, you know, send us stuff like this to. It's called Disconnected. Bunch of just young rippers, 12 to 16 years old. It's cool to see a scene that's like, that's that's a young little scene. Was there a time or no? I uh, just need there's just shout out to these guys. If anyone wants to watch some young shredders watch it get motivated because i remember when i was you know 12 13 14 i loved watching other young kids rip it up it was motivating because it was cool to watch pros but i'm like i'm not like i know they're like fucking 30 yeah like i want to see like what other kids my age are doing that's why this kind of stuff is awesome kind of too unrelatable yeah you're like one day i want to get there but i can barely fucking bunny up of a three stair yeah and then you have What's his name? Triple flipping. And you're like, I don't want to do that. Yeah, either. you're like, sorry, Connor. Like, that's awesome, <laughs> dude. But like, these these were. All, I love this video because like, it was all kind of reminding me of my youth, yeah. where I'd be like, these. This is what I want to watch right here. Yeah. 
This kid's already got pretty damn Yeah, looking controller. like... Mm-hmm, nah, everyone in this video has their own cool thing going on. Josh Dove's cousin or something. Yeah. That's sick. Yeah, that was sick. Shout out to all these little dudes for doing this because we'll more little... Spot. More little homies killing it. Pull. Yeah, all the street... It's cool because it's like park riders, street riders. Yeah. A little bit of everything. 12 to 16 years old. Love it. Oh, they're all... That kid was 16. That's what they... That's what... Yeah. Uh, I said, how old are these kids? And he said, all 12 to 16. Wow. So, what a rad little crew. Yeah, impressive. Pretty Love good filming that. for kids, too. Yeah. Sick to see. Yeah, tables over kink rails. And uh, last thing, besides re-up videos I had for the credits, were uh, Chad has a shoe out. Chad has a shoe out. He mm -hmm. does? All right. Let me... The uh, brown and yellow one? Yeah. That one's sick. And it comes like a bag. What's his Instagram? Is it just Chad Curley? Probably, yeah. He started the website. Like, aside from Seek Life, he's like doing this stuff. So, pretty cool to see. Shoot, there's all of it. He's been promoting it a bit, but. Dope shoe. Uh, what's the. Link in uh, bio. I think it, he made a. Yeah, cool, cool key. <laughs> this is sick, actually. Yeah, a bunch of crazy shit he's been doing. He's always, like, one of my best friends in the world, and then <laughs> I'll see him like posting so shit like this, show. and I'm like, what the hell are you doing? Like, yeah, Networking. Yeah, he's different yeah. People doing, doing cool, cool shit, shit with yeah. people all the time while riding every day, so. That's sick. What's, K what's K-I-Y? I don't know. Just Six shoes? shoes? They're, yeah. They're doing it. You want to cool. fucking, yeah. His character looks dope. Yeah. The little graphic. <laughs> it's funny that it's like one of the most talked about things is the is the curly doll. Anytime anybody comes in, they're always like, wait, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Chad. He'll always be killing it, but put out a shoe this oh, month. Oh, yeah. And I think it comes with a, it, like a really cool bag. Just look into it. Go on Chad's Instagram. Yeah, it's in the top the 10 too. post. You can just yeah. see all the stuff. Yeah. The bag is right, right up there. there. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Really cool. And this is all stuff Chad does on his own, you know? It's not... It's like with a random shoe company friend that he knows, but they're big time. Oh, yeah. Shooting That's everything. That's super sick. Yeah. Good for Chad. Um, Instagram? Oh, yeah. Instagram? And we'll make it rip through these. Yeah, these are um, easy, quick. Jameson Nyquist. I thought this was pretty fucking sick just to see Nyquist kid. And then there's like photos of... Uh, of uh, of him and Nyquist like doing doubles at, at Woodward and stuff like that. Pretty like, crazy. Kind of next next gen stuff. Hold um, his kid. No, he's little. Little, like, he's little. Yeah, Seven, like how sick ten? is how sick is probably that yeah. yeah. He's a little dude. They're both dude. That's sick. <laughs> that that's pretty, is that's pretty so dope. cool. Yeah. yeah. That's whoa. That's even crazier. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's following in the footsteps. Yeah. Insane. Um, George, what's his? Hold on, I gotta remember his name. George Gallio. Before I say his name wrong, um, saw this post. Uh, his Instagram name is Cerebral Cerebral Palsy BMX mm. Rider. Yeah, that's um, Been around for a few years, but uh, he has this post where he kind of just talks about um, kind of some mental health stuff, but also just when he first started riding and posting tricks, and then. You know kind of the negative comments and how they would affect him and he pushed through and now he has like this community of of people and supporters and way more support than he could have ever envisioned and it's just a, yeah. it was a really powerful post um that i just thought was worth discussing in a sense or seeing it just like you know people leave negative comments and they don't think they're like yeah you know like where they're just like they're also why, just trying not to take things this? personally if they don't align with the, actually what you're doing yeah you know, if they're not true to you don't take it personally yeah that's true you know yeah but, you have to have a thick skin to be on because people are always there. you can't you're not going to make those people stop commenting for it's better sure. to just don't take it personally if it doesn't if it's not true to you yeah but Which sometimes it's hard sometimes yeah. it's hard. Exactly. i talk about Fuck, I talk yeah. about it with my wife where it's <laughs> yeah. like she's like we talk about even stuff on the on the podcast you see a bunch of nice things yeah. hell yeah hell yeah you There's see one bad one thing you're like oh shit punch like, me in the yeah. stomach fool. you guys like, sound like dude. idiots <laughs> like, fuck. Yeah. exactly you try it <laughs> yeah i literally like talk for three hours yeah it's hard you're gonna say some dumb shit about bmx a subject you've been talking about for like 20 years yeah so it's hard um 
super cool post from him though i don't i don't know exactly where to grab it so it's got some words to it but the the whole post really uh hit pretty hard and then he had a uh a youtube video uh that i actually caught after the fact that i didn't know he i were i'll hit him with the subscribe button right now um but i didn't realize he had uh a channel but cerebral palsy is a debilitating uh disease for 99 percent of people and the fact that he that's is, what i thought yeah the fact that he has uh worked so hard to to progress like this is insane yeah hell yeah so Love shout it. out to that george was sick. yeah little pole jam on the side of the edge yeah yeah i mean bmxers always seem to be pretty fucking tough yeah mm-hmm. you gotta be stubborn you gotta be tough um and also though if you just push through that you can always have fun true like um some matt nordstrom magic the progression yeah jesus christ <laughs> that was sick <laughs> that's one of my captions proof the, pro- the progression can be i would assume actually oh. like the last guy where he's just you know gets to keep pushing on his own level or you can be like this guy yeah yeah enjoyment in the small stuff yeah as a, De- as a demarcus thing like enjoy the process whatever yeah. you exactly. know like don't get frustrated that you're not doing it exactly like you want yes enjoy enjoy this the progress and the small little little wins that you you get, can get you know? to this maybe but if fuck not no. fuck no you know like I'm, <laughs> but that's like there's goals like oh i want to get this good you can get that good or you can just have fun yeah every little million steps along the way you can but you're gonna have to put a lot of sweat in yeah if you look at Matt, he's usually sweating his ass off. <laughs> Maxime, Maxime Chavron. That was Dude, sick. He's yeah. back. Yes, one of the most underrated riders. I no, feel like in he was the best rider ever in France, and he just dipped the fuck out. Yeah, I'm not yeah. gonna say he's underrated because at one point he was. He kind of was the Fran- he yeah, was he the was. best rider in France. In the states, was... he was underrated. I've got to I've witnessed him ride bikes, and I'm like, you are one of the best bike riders. Yeah, he, was, he literally he like KP up, status, though. like where yeah. in the sense of like all around. Could yeah, do yeah. Whatever he could he do wanted. anything. Yeah. yeah, I was on the. I went on a We the People trip with him into like Mexico City, and it was like some gap, gap that... second stage ledge, and he's like, oh, this is pretty cool. That's what I'm and saying. he was just like. He was like waiting for anybody else to step up to it, and it was scary. Yeah. And he, everybody else was like, "I love Maxime." Like, nah, and just kind of. He's like, "All right, I'll do it." He's one of my. <laughs> you know, like yeah. he's like he's like I, you know, I have enough. Uh, like, hey, you guys do, you guys do this. It's too easy, you know. And he's like, "All right, I'll do it. Fuck it." He's one but, of my best friends. Like in the beginning of. Oh, he's BMX. hilarious. He's fucking like, hilarious. I love that dude. Too. He's fucking hilarious. One of the best dudes. So huge fan of Maxime. Stoked. He's shredding again. Love to see him back on the bike uh wait what did that say oh well we'll find out oh yeah oh i seen this yeah. this code is sick you yeah it's crazy how good people are getting into nose release yeah is this the dude that like got oh uh, this is a long time ago is this the dude that got caught on the security cam grinding a rail uh no i don't think is that so. somebody that else was, um that was what do you call it? that's jj's homie anthony hitchcock oh all right that was fucking hilarious yeah he got caught and like called them back because he was getting nervous about them or whatever yeah yeah, yeah. they like put it on the news they had like a, a manhunt for him doing no writing tricks on it <laughs> Some, something similar happened to that dude uh frank macchio i believe oh really yeah he grinded a rail and like he got caught somehow from surveillance in like the early 2000s i think they took him to court and made him pay like 10 racks oh my god it's like the worst rail to grind i guess <laughs> it's crazy they could like pinpoint you now you know it's crazy they got him back then yeah yeah nowadays you're fucked <laughs> yeah yeah uh flip to a slider one to slider one i mean it would be pretty scary to lock brakes is that maddie kramer that was maddie i'm gonna say it looks like him really small look like florida clip. he's really small in the clip <laughs> bike flip to grind bike flip crank arm crank, bike flip to tap crank. sick they are crazy tricks i think the seat grab is like like makes it look cooler yeah back in the day there was that dude that always do them a hop do hop bike flips Mm -hmm. jeremiah jones oh yeah he was fucking so good at riding didn't he kind of suck though i 
I was I was a little kid. Yeah. I just remember like that dude just did a hot bike flip. A hot bike flip? Yeah. Bunny hot bike flip? Yeah. He did? I'm pretty sure. He Jeremiah Jones was a guy. I don't think so, dude. He did like I think an he was ECT. just in the beginning of the game on the normal bike flip. He didn't uh, he hot was, bike he flip. He was pretty fucking good. He didn't do a hot <laughs> bike good. flip. He was good. Sure. No, he was ridiculous. Hey, if someone did it, comment below. I'm pretty sure someone in Denver Gerber would know. He would. He, well. I remember footage of him too. Gerber like. would do probably too. <laughs> With an AK strapped to his bike. Um, not Alex Kennedy. Uh, Jeremiah Jones was the, the dude the first time I met him was at that ECT contest and he, yeah, he got, like, got did photos. Something. He did something crazy, I heard. Well, yeah, he got photos and then he like smashed the photo or something crazy. It was like, people were like, what the fuck? Damn. Might not fit in this industry. Yeah. <laughs> Courage. I didn't even see this. I checked out for like a week or so. It's funny what you can miss. <laughs> What? Dude, it's got to be so hard for him to like come up with a new idea at this right. park. <laughs> I will say, I mean, like that was fucked. he. If he just put on the, if he put on the coaster, it would be like he That'd doesn't have to do it. it for a long time, but maybe like yeah. a year or something, and he then just some cool... fuck that shit up for a yeah. little bit, and then go back. He's to the put it on for a second. Has he? He has. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Two he, totally he put different. It on for a second. Two totally different things. Yeah, I think he, he would do that. some cool shit with the coach. He'd be able to keep speed for stuff. Yeah, like he could probably do like a line of backwards grind, faking manual backwards grind. Just go for Dude, days. Dude, this was so crazy. Two tail tap clips. Tigered Park, Northwest, beautiful colors. I say triple whip to fucking tail tap. Everything about oh. this clip is sick. How could you even do that? I right? don't know. I don't know. I love this clip. <laughs> Nathan Glade. Nathan Glade. He's done that. I feel like he's done that before. I think he does it. Similar. Yeah, it's just like a Wednesday for him. Just did it with the beautiful colors this time. That was so sick. Tom Justice is unreal. <laughs> Land's so perfect. Dude. Oh, like, the three can. Everything is just... Just the whole run. He's like this making park oh God, riding look even... really fun. He's like rubbing coping on the way back in. Like he's landing so perfect. He he posted when he posted this on his account, he's like, Oh, I forgot I had this in my camera roll. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you watch him ride in real life, I feel like this is just him riding. Yeah, it's it is. Just, it's it's really kind really of is. awesome yeah. to see. This is him riding. It's amazing. Must be nice. Yeah, he, it'd be really fun just to be able to ride like this. Right. I feel like off um, non-Olympic level, like him and Sergio just fuck up all the European contests. Oh, yeah. For you know, sure. Like the yeah. non-C1, all that. Yeah. Like him and Sergio are like the dudes who just yeah. destroy everything. It's always like, on the podium with Sergio again or on the podium with Justin. <laughs> <laughs> This G? It G. Is. He's now seven. He's turned seven? <laughs> Fuck, I love this guy. <laughs> G. That was like... Dude, the balls on this little guy. <laughs> and it was like... It, it was a really good three whip. Like, kind of Superman. He huge. did it like they did back in the day. Like, yes. He, rule, didn't, he did not, not try to get... It was like a mirror on one. He yeah. He didn't try like, to get over the spine. He had to get up. Boom. Kicked it out. Like, no foot can <laughs> three whip. Yes, Chi. You don't stop, man. Dude, it'd be so fun to be that little. Just yes. <laughs> He's so sick. Just insanity. What? Chi. Was it, was it Curly? 540 bar? <laughs> yeah. 540 bar? No, nah, man. Chi. <laughs> Keep <laughs> going, so, Chi. So Keep crazy. going. They're, God. Unless people send, send some other clips in, this is the best seven-year-old by... Yeah, there's no way. A lot, I hope? Or is there other seven-year-olds doing this? No and I'm just so... Way. I mean, like... <laughs> there's no way. There's I no wouldn't way. doubt I hope... with how good kids are, there might be, like, another kid that could, like, throw up a resi but not many. or something. Like, Dude, he That's what I'm wondering. I'm like... Thing, and that was, like, a seven-foot spine. That was... I like, think it was a six foot spine. It's really hard because... that so G might be this tall. <laughs> yeah. I think he's riding a, like, 10 inch. Yeah. He's seven he's seven he's just gonna be the most incredible bike rider to him ever. that's a 12 foot spine yeah we have to yeah, be like chief for the sure. last instagram video every month because yeah. 
God, he freaks everyone. He's probably out. posted something else crazy. Yeah. yeah. We just haven't even seen it yet. This is sick. What's going on here? Little crank foot bar spin? Mm, finger flip. Yep. Oh, damn. Oh. Okay. Never seen that before. Yeah. yeah. That Hell yeah. So hard. Damn. That is a lot going on. When you, even fast motion is better. You're like, what the fuck? It's smooth. Doop. Not often we post a fly out clip. Shh, but that one, it's worth it. Uh, So. I think we let's see if I got these in order. Well, we oh, posted yeah, we posted this one this month. Well, which is pretty wild. Popped. It's um, a great Instagram to follow. Yeah, and so I don't even know where Anthony's this is from for but... for everybody that doesn't remember. Oh, this okay. is the one that was like super viral. We talked about him before, and I can't. Re- oh, Columbia. Columbia, or maybe he was just in Columbia. I don't know. Oh shit! He's sick, man. So he posted this thing, like. How long ago? July 11th. Mm. Let's see if I can get the sound on. Oh, All right. Um, I'll, for the people that do actually painfully listen to this podcast, I'll read it. Uh, I am writing to you regarding an unfortunate situation that occurred recently as a professional BMX athlete. I have faced a significant challenge that has affected my ability to continue training and competing in the future. A few days ago, my bike was damaged beyond repair due to an accident. Uh, bicycle, bicycle is fundamental tool for training and performance competitions. Um, yada, yada, yada. It goes on for a little bit, but um, he's it's an about how his bike broke and he can't get a new one. Yeah, I'm and, open to any form July of support. 11th? Yeah, be it a, fun, a form that of funding, a like deno- donation, or any other form you deem appropriate. Thank you in advance. So he posted this in July. Um, you can see right here, like Brian Taylor responded and said, Oh, no stress. Give me your address. I'll send tomorrow. And then I also responded. Um, and I said, email me. I have a brand new friend. Uh, I have. This is super old though. Super old. So is he posting new clips? <clears throat> he has been posting new so clips, a- but either way, it's like, if he still is struggling to get a bike, blah, blah, blah. And I also said, I have a brand new frame you can have. And so I'm not calling out Ryan Taylor in any sense or whatever, because he said that total from this post total hit him up. And they wanted to sponsor him, but then like through distros and Damn. stuff like Kinda that, hard to do, it was yeah. just super hard. And so that didn't happen. And then he reached out to Ryan Taylor and, and he didn't hear back, which is, you know, it was probably yeah. a month or two later or whatever, you know? And then, uh, and then, so he reached out to me and then literally I, the frame that I had, I, I, uh, I boxed it up today. So this is why I'm bringing this oh, up because I, bo- I boxed it up and sent it out today. What did, what did you? Um, I've had this free Damn. agent. I've had this free agent. So frame. what's he been doing this whole time? I think he's had. I think he found a frame. Uh-huh. But like either way, the situation is a situation. Yeah, you no. know, like because he's Sitting gonna he's gonna rip. Frame? You see the way he rides. He's, he's gonna, gonna break. Through, yeah. He's gonna rip through another Give frame. Give him five. Yeah, you know. So, yeah. um, so I've had this free agent frame because they wanted to do a giveaway, and um, the original idea was Sandoval was going to come and do the podcast, but then Sandoval fucking won't do the podcast so uh, <laughs> and we'll do the podcast yeah. i know what the it hell? will be the it would be an amazing he's the podcast. homie too after like, the yeah. after the olympics because sandoval's sandoval's he's cool. fucking hilarious he's like, and he's down to I talk know. shit yeah yeah and so he's worried that he's gonna get himself in trouble now nah, that, that, so, so, that makes for a great podcast yeah dude. he's worried he's gonna i he, hate when people like, would do that but you know get yourself like, in some trouble yeah so maybe after <laughs> this, maybe after the next olympics we can get Sandoval to do the podcast, but either way, this frame has been sitting yeah. here for a while. I wanted to do something positive with it, and then so I sent uh, this super short video. So, um, cool, you the bad, and it actually kind of matches what he has. This is a crazy paint job, like blue and pink, like matches the bike that he's been posting. And threw a couple of tires, some tubes, tubalitos, yeah. tubalitos. He's gonna go crazy with some ODI tubalitos. grips, some RVMX stuff, and cat. the cat, some cat hair. Sick. Yeah, the cat hair is in there too. So, <laughs> um, that, that sent that today. Nice. Good man. So, Good man. Um, mean? wanted to get that in there, especially since we posted that clip of him nice. recently too. So, um, so shout out to all those brands because all those brands support us, and that's how I'm able to do that. Oh, yeah. It's not out, yeah, not out of my pocket that I do that i mean the shipping or whatever but um but so so yeah hopefully he gets uh gets that stuff and can continue to do his Keep thing pushing. yeah so um that and then uh alexander tire ride oh yeah this oh one. shit <laughs> dude what is... in the snow <laughs> look at him drifting Yo. in Locked in. 
dude perfect yeah yeah <laughs> i mean the drift in we gotta see again i could never want to go ride bikes if it looked like that outside no i think it's the lack until, of riding for so long yeah you have to ride until you live in that climate yeah, and you're yeah. like i'm going crazy i yeah. need to get out of this yeah. box yeah so pretty fucking amazing that was awesome oh did we tag him wrong uh-oh well that's news to me hopefully we got that he didn't want to be affiliated with rbm maybe he, he changed us. it because of you no that's him right there i'm just kidding <laughs> oh i fucking wrote it wrong in the thing the whole dang time it. dang it dang it dang it dang it dang it dang it alex wza all right i'm gonna edit that because i will never come back and do this thank you desktop instagram Done. boom back i hope let's refresh did it take boom all right <laughs> sorry that alex sick um diego bravo smith shout out to albert for adding these because i was oh my god i <laughs> oh, forgot about this clip oh survival mode <laughs> i saw diego like the same day that i posted this this dude's rad so look at the oh my god watch the front wheel <laughs> yeah he's because there's a hydroplaning there's, there's a wall no watch the front wheel on yeah the, oh yeah it he, almost touches it, hits, yeah. it does touch well i'm sure he put his bike in like yeah. kind of like probably probably hit me be like a kink pretty sure he didn't it's going for double right yeah i'm pretty sure a double so no i think smith <laughs> i mean fuck would you take it me <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I would take that shit. I would. I don't know what I would do with that. <laughs> that was the worst question to ever ask. I know it's a <laughs> like horrible. You would take question. that. I would take it, but I know my answer, so he would I never would take be, it. He would ever. never. He's not take gonna it. fucking take. He's that. not gonna take it. That's the whole point. That's why I asked. But I would take it for sure. <laughs> If credits clip, but I don't know if I'd make it. <laughs> I feel like I definitely never... want to do it again. <laughs> Such a good clip. I love no, that. Was insane, Those are my favorite dude. clips. The survival, literally. No, it, he's sick, dude. He's always doing like yeah, fuck he, yeah. he yeah. likes to push it. Like, Anyone would take level. it, but yeah, you yeah. can't ask him. You yeah, know, like, no, it's different. this fool's yeah. not going to take I'm that. I'm not going to do that either. Would you yeah, it? exactly. <laughs> would you take it? Yeah, if there was a clip where I'm like that, <laughs> I would hit the rail for sure. Really I'm definitely not going to. If you got away with it and you're like, yeah, I would, you know, like if you had a clip, the that's it, like an intro clip. It's a his part in that. Uh, that's it's, from Sunday bunched up yeah, too, and it's up. he's fucking awesome. Yeah, he is rad. Apparently, he is like spot guru. He I was just, there for this. Were you? Yeah, yeah it was like throwback. I don't know. Ten years ago, I don't know why I was there. It was in the middle of nowhere in Canada. Explain this rotation. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what they were watching him do it. I was like, what the hell? Edmonton, Canada. Yeah. I think yeah. it's him. I think it's him and like Mason are the only ones that kind of do that. Yeah, it's really cool. It's a whole other trick that like people don't do. That it just looks perfect. Yeah. And then in the same Jason. in the same category as that last one. Try and do this one. They're both impossible. <laughs> right. Yeah. Good fucking <laughs> luck. <laughs> on a log on like a 1998 bike. It's so sick. Jason also come do the podcast. Oh, he said he was. Yes, he Jason, said he was please. down. He'd be a great one. Dude. Yeah. Yes. Asato hit me up too, at a point. Dude, he's so cool. Yeah. That was crazy. Jason Asato. We need to start working on these like a uh, couple of these dream ones again. Yeah. And start putting that into. Derek Adams would be a good one. Ooh. Yes. Wow, yes. Derek one. Adams. We want to do some more good ones. They're all good, but more yeah. of these dream ones. Um, Chioke? Is that how I say it? We're just so mad because uh, Miron won't do it that we just gave up. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Some... But no, there's a million other amazing dream ones. Um, he's ba He was injured for, for a while, right? Sick. Is that Crook in the beginning? No, Double Peg. All right, why uh, am I tripping? Rail up Fufanu, I guess, because it's a rail. Counts as a foofanu. Kind of like coping. a backwards manual. Hail tap. I'm like, I don't okay, even, it's like kind of a backwards know. manual. Yeah, he, <laughs> it's crazy. There might there might be wax on it, so you don't want to grab too hard because yeah. then that might slide. 
a lot to think now. about. Yeah. Yeah, he's always doing some cool shit. Yeah. He said he he hit me up a while ago and was talking about doing a full length part, and then I think he got hurt. So hopefully this is a sign of of things to come if he's just throwing this on the gram. So. Yeah. Was that just on the gram? No video part or nothing? I don't think so. Dude, I think he's insane. He's always out riding. Yeah. And he like he kills super gnarly shit. He always like over ice really gnarly bank to subs and bank to rails yeah, and stuff. Yeah, he's dope. The 270 bar over ice is fucked. Damn. Um, that's a big that's a, sub yeah. rail, that's too. A, yeah. Like, they screwed that in and went, like, damn, it's kind of too big. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll just leave it here. One person missed their pegs and sacked in there. Like, we we, we, <laughs> yeah, like, we made this thing kind just of Just twinkle gnarly. toes trying to touch the deck. <laughs> Fell into the six-foot quarter. God damn. That yeah. trick's crazy. Timeless trick, man. Will forever be gnarly. Uh, Chris Kyle dipped the pegs. This one was pretty wild. Yo. Just not a normal rotation. Hit perfect. Chris Kyle. Yeah. Just doesn't live under the ramps anymore. He's the man. Martin and Choa. Let's see if I can. Shift life. <laughs> He's always got wild clips, the chain ride stuff and all that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Was there a Instagram shout out of the month or anything? I thought that I put Brett Silva's IG. Brett Silva. Never, obviously, obvious. Never heard of him. But I also forgot the cliche women in Berlin. They did a video. They did. Those did that come out? Things. Yes, that came out. I know that came out. Okay. We'll go to Brett and then cliche. That's just a nice little sh Instagram shout out. There was this. This is the one I liked. Or wait, is this one? Something. You got day. anybody? Something you got one any, day I threw anybody on Instagram that you've been sweating, Garrett? Um. Any on any? I'm trying to think. Not off the top of my head. Yeah, doesn't have to be sweating. Somebody just like that. Uh, yeah. They've been killing on Instagram. There's honestly a lot <laughs> i'd say johnny seems to be always on it yeah johnny's always johnny on. has been on it uh brett's a good one brett I, I love brett's style he's just so powerful like he like doesn't have to flex his this, hardest stuff he yes. just kind of uses how strong he is on a bike this is the video that made me put it in the notes because when you just go through this clips you're just like dude it's like oh yeah. manual toboggan manual that's how you're feeling yeah Keeps it simple, but also simplicity that no one else is really doing, like manual toboggan manual. But yeah, I don't know. There's so many dudes. There is. It just seems like Brett always does like maximum. Look at that spot. Maximum effort. That is. Oh, absolutely. Spot. Look at that fucking spot. Maximum effort, but like Lewis, like where it looks like yeah. he's jumping on a yeah. trampoline. Well, like you're doing maximum effort for years, you make it look like. Yeah. You know, yeah. Doesn't yeah. look hard. Yeah. Or if I'm doing maximum effort, you're like, wow, is that guy okay? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, kind of in the same vein of like Noah, like, like that Noah clip that we posted where, and he did it. Noah's been on like it too. The, the one handed X, and then he did the suicide. Yeah. You know, and it's like, dude, that was, both those clips were just like sick. Yeah. So, and they're just very normal, not normal, but like yeah. basic tricks. Yeah, like, it's how yeah. you do it. It's you not, know, it's not so, what you do, it's how you do it. The, 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 the toboggan on that disaster. Yeah. <laughs> that is dope. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Brett's killing it. Cliche. Then, uh, cliche. They oh. did a trip to Berlin. Cliche crew one year ago. Oh, cliches of Berlin. Thanks, generative AI. That's what I needed to answer that question. That was like a plug in that they gave me. Just get the chat um, was GPT, there man. It thinks for you. <laughs> Coming out with the new version. I heard they have a plug-in for the phone now. It shit is so crazy. I can't. That's why the apps are blowing up. Because you can just write an app. Can you? Yeah. You can tell the chat GPT what you're thinking of for an app. And it will write Linda? you code. I didn't see this. Yeah, it's pretty insane. I can even like... That's why people are making these apps. You go like, I want an app for this. That's why I was. I didn't go there. But I was like, you can make a fucking app by telling your chat GPT. And it'll write the code. I have Copy. like... The Make basic one, but Tony was telling me if you want to do graphics, you can like basically tell it what you want if you get the premium ones, and it'll actually just make fonts for you and stuff. 
Like that is I so mean, crazy. It, yeah, I mean, you could do. Chat you GPT can, is the beginning of some really. We we use it. Be a skill. We use it quite a bit on just like thumbnail stuff, you know. Yeah. And it's like. There's nothing wrong with it because like, we're all using at, this to help us. Let's use that next. I sent the I sent oh, this yeah, there's I sent this to Albert it. today. It's change, only change and fingers. GPT is the beginning. Yeah, change fingers to thumbs, and I just like added a finger for some reason. <laughs> What's happening? I just added a, a finger for some reason. <laughs> oh, you know, that like so weird. Six. But like we, I mean, this is this is, uh, you know, it helped you with yeah. that. <laughs> it made that yeah well like yeah you just do it or whatever but this is here i'll show you that's the, a really good thumbnail i'll show you the original one as there's like, like two the sides people. of it though like i think some people that are into like filmmaking will be like it's insane it's not your idea for sure you know? yeah. for sure but for something like this when you're trying for to get a quick sure. turnaround that okay. seems like so a here, damn good this alternative is, it's this just is... like <laughs> closest jack in the box here you know like yeah, yeah fuck, that's fuck chill yeah guy. Yeah, you know, same like, <laughs> Make me a thumbnail real Thomas quick. I got guy. fucking ten videos. Well, this is this is generative AI. Via, so what do you do? Via, to make that? So like this this is a screenshot, and then one of these is a screenshot. I can't remember. Like maybe one. I think I ended up using the Albert one, but like so I took the pegs and then I took the thumbnail and then I separated them, and so and then see how the sky is all clean, too. Does that make sense? That's a like look at all the poles and the tree and the oh building. Oh my god! Yeah, and then it just kind of copied. No, AI, and, AI, and the rail AI, AI is better than us. Yeah, and the rail is as like far touching as these, these kind of things. Yeah, like, it's insane. Look at that. Like, I mean, it take. I mean, it took me like thirty minutes. It or will be better than like, us. Like as yeah. far as that kind. And that's of shit, me changing the sky in the background just for like <laughs> going through. Like kind of joking. Like yeah, I'm like yeah. texting. It's not even that's better than us. It just works with us. But that's like the most. That's the most I've done. You've That was today. Like. But we, you can do it to remove people and shit. Where like this it, shit used to take you forty minutes. Yeah, just sit like, there and cut out you 40, and try to 40, copy and forty paste. seconds. It's yeah, insane. I've just used it with my phone. Good for you. With it and it's, makes life easier. Right? Yeah, it makes life a lot yeah, easier. Yeah, yeah, perfect. it's insane. So, um, wait till Neuralink. But you cliche Berlin. <laughs> <laughs> cliche Berlin. We didn't oh, watch the video. Shit. Sorry. You did that. I, I thought that, I thought we reached the, we uh, talk the end about of the cool podcast. Shit that's off topic too. No. How you how to make thumbnails? That's good shit. I mean, for any kids making videos, there's a great tutorial yeah, Photoshop, of how to make Photoshop a beta, sick video for beta, YouTube. Yeah. These chicks kill it, dude. Oh, absolutely. Emma, I w I think Emma is one of the sickest ones. Anahi, right? Is yeah. That, is that her name? I just went on a trip with her. She was ripping. Oh, really? Oh, when's the um? That cut? I'm not sure. No, no plans on I, no clue when it's. I dropping think it'll be coming out at some dope. point, but I'm not exactly positive. Yeah, that's gonna be so. I'm excited for that. What? What is it? Kind of like a road fools thing? Kind of, yeah. Just like <laughs> a, just a big random group of people to make a video. Is basically the idea. Was it? Was it you or is it somebody else who was telling me about the the crazy dude? You guys almost died. It's probably me. Yeah. 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 Crazy dude. Yeah, there's like we stayed. I don't know. We stayed outside of the city, and just some dude was. Super weird. It's on some like Damn. amphetamine. I think he was a little bit racist and just didn't like some of us for some reason. And then we were staying at an Airbnb outside of Paris, but I was like maybe her um excuse me Berlin. But we were so far, and he was like he tried to hit us with a car. <laughs> he told us he was gonna kill us. He was he was writing to J um J Row like I'm gonna cut you open and shit and like just crazy cut stuff cut you open writing, and shit in you yeah to him? yeah like but he like translated he, he literally tried to hit us with a car like was it bmxer that new no he was our airbnb host oh what yeah. <laughs> he was yeah <laughs> we just pulled up but it was like it was really remote you know far outside yeah. of the city little woods pulled up and this guy was just kind of pressing us and then started acting crazy did you do you think you guys left him a good review or what no airbnb is gonna like revoke his shit oh, and everything really? yeah oh, no okay. there's like yeah proof we filmed it like yeah. it was like yeah this guy tried this to dude's nuts we locked the doors he tried to get in at night like it was a whole thing it was actually crazy wow. yeah you could probably i mean fuck that's crazy you can get a free you can probably get a free stay oh yeah they do <laughs> they, they <laughs> got lucky nothing bad happened. some overnight coffee or some instant coffee or something for free. i mean we had like uh because there was that thought, like, maybe this isn't safe. And there's, like, dude, there's, like, 15 of us. Yeah. Like, this dude ain't going to kill us. He's going to kill all of you.
These chicks just How it. sick is it that there's a, literally a women's street crew doing videos, doing trips, it's awesome. doing videos. So sick, and they're good. That was sick. That was awesome. It's sick to see Linda back, too. Yeah. Because I felt like after, you know, the 22, oh. with the injury and stuff, it was like, didn't see much all year, and so like awesome to see yeah. some, some stuff come out. Yeah, we were in France at the time, and we pulled up, like, right after it happened. I was like, Ugh. horrible flame. No, what's about but to back go back better here. than ever. Yeah. That's what we like to see. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Let me add that into the... Yeah, you have event. to add that. That was a highlight of this month. For sure. <clears throat> All right. All right. Is that everything? I think that's, dude, that was a lot. I'm sure we missed about a million things. <laughs> Next time I'll send you my list uh, the day before. Yeah. Should have done that. That's all right. AI, chat GBT, make Dennis an app to remind him. Yo. To, I don't, I'm about don't. to just get the Bloom so calendar, that. dude. Yeah, mark it on your calendar. I have a good calendar, but I do need one for Christmas. Better one. That's my woman for that. So hopefully, Bloom Calendar, Odessa, if you're listening, which you're not. And Fudger <laughs> Notes. <laughs> no, I, I use no, a wall right. calendar, which is funny because I know you can use, do it on here, but I really like a yeah. wall calendar. It really uh, helps me. I use it too just because I like you do? to physically look at it. Me yeah. too. Yeah. I just I usually leave mine on my fridge. And the phone, I like to just be done with the phone. You know, yeah. the wall is like, it's crossing off yeah. i don't want to do some more, point, sh more like, shit with my phone yeah the wall calendar the wall but calendar you just, that's the official one and be like oh yeah i'm supposed to do that i'm free right now why Fuck don't i yeah. do that <laughs> people make fun of my wall calendar but it's good to hear amber See, my, garrett i believe that's called getting old my, my yeah my my <laughs> oh, wife i got called a boomer by my homie the other day <laughs> <laughs> by josh's little brother he called me a boomer <laughs> i think that like, means you're 50 right it's something <laughs> something, something. It means you're doing well i think no it means you're like really behind on everything that's what it means i know, I know. <laughs> whatever though i'm down calendar I got calendar calendar i need you uh, tell me what chat anything, was anything else coming up um, not about? that i could think of no no yeah <laughs> black, last black friday scale sales <laughs> uh no we fiend didn't do, we didn't do any sales fiend promo codes i don't think we're doing that <laughs> keeping it real yeah we don't have any either it seems kind of hard to like when you go on instagram or any websites it's like black friday like all these sales like how do you even compete i don't it's even like fuck. every it's might as well just not do it i didn't buy yeah a well thing. is that I how think you guys feel about a it? lot of the people that are doing that but you see it though it's like my dude. knowledge are super overstocked where we're not so we don't that's not our thing we're not trying to sell like a million bikes right now yeah that's what's up yeah but, is that kind of how it goes with sales is usually I, like i don't know for everyone yeah. but i know there's a lot of companies right now that are overstocked so that's probably why I'm, yeah you see 50 percent off so places. many 50 percent off i think like, it's every year though you see profit. that shit like crazy yeah. shit during the black friday things like get rid of stuff right yeah. like i feel a little bit more this year but yeah, but yeah. well i mean black... i think it's just because instagram and ads and that shit's yeah. crazy now like yeah. it's easy like here's our ad promote it for us okay i have to promote five because five of my sponsors are yeah. doing the sale like right is not, that kind of why everyone's i don't know yeah, yeah, that's, we, that's, that was my we theory. didn't do any we yeah. didn't do any rbmx I, didn't do any i mean we don't like ah uh, dude this is the end of the podcast so i don't think many many, many people make it here There's but like people. i, I love you everyone who's I listening and, i'm kind of shit because it's like i might I drink that double ipa for everyone who's listening promoting that stuff and it's like you won't really see many like product ads from us on instagram yeah and it's like that's the way we run it and where like other one like dig will post kind of pretty much anything that's in. I'll, I'll straight up tell brand like hey we can't post that yeah and well, that's just how that's why we've grown because it's like it keeps the account like at a certain level and yeah keep it well because you know, Insta but... instagram technically is like an ad pl platform at this point so yeah. if you're doing that they're gonna shoot your shit down because that's a paid for exactly application yeah it just does nobody a service in, yeah in so the it's, end, it's you like know? do so. you want to try to sell shit or do you want to keep your views good and organically try yeah. to grow it's yeah. one or the other it's a hard one yeah and so it's a it's a hard one with kind of advertisers at times you know and it's like the giveaway thing and stuff like that which fuck what you didn't you didn't bring up the giveaway. Oh yeah, that was thing. <laughs> you can do it now and just edit it in earlier. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I did it. Hey. Put it at the beginning. Yeah, hey, I was wondering. Garrett, about that. thanks for coming on the podcast. You know, this is the very beginning of the podcast. Nice to let's meet do you. The, I'm let's Dennis. do the Haro winner. Yeah, I don't know. Thank you for having me. You don't. Have, what do you mean you don't know? I haven't looked at anything. 
<laughs> I forgot. Oh, no, shit. Let's do it real quick. I think we'll we got in. a couple minutes. Yeah, we got a yeah, couple I'm minutes. Gonna pee, I'm gonna pee. I'm gonna. You get your phone. I'm gonna pee. Well, how do I see it? Uh, the hashtag. Come on, boomer. Fuck. <laughs> it's all on Instagram. It's all on Instagram. Someone already. Walked I thought it was the comments of. I thought it was comments on the last news uh, podcast. No, no, no. It was the. It was the hashtag on Instagram. Okay. Dennis, Dennis Pause. Oh, hashtag. Definitely putting, definitely putting this part in. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? Hashtag Haro giveaway. I'll uh, just. Just do like Haro. No. Whoa, Have Haro know. trying to get him an assistant. <laughs> you don't run a. You don't run a case. You rich or something. No, I put a case on. It's just when I'm not riding on case, I go back and forth. There's not that many, so I think you're all right. I mean, am I rich? I got the fucking iPhone 7. <laughs> I got this from doing the commercial with Stu. Yeah. So long ago. Do you still have that phone? Yeah. You do? Dude, you're so dope. I don't I don't use that phone anymore, though. Oh, okay. But I, I okay. have that phone. Okay, you bought a new one. Don't use this one. I knew there was something up with that. No, I needed a bigger storage. Wait a sec. What do I do? we're back yeah <laughs> all right uh that's it that's the end yeah we teleported thank you everyone it is uh december tomorrow december yeah, first already yeah um, see you guys for the michael podcast and see you guys for a bunch more justin spree hopefully chad yeah. garrett bob harrow bob harrow i think so that'd be good yeah, yeah that'd be a good one and then all the other dream ones we talked about i got hit up for a bob osborne one bob osborne too. i don't even know who that is i'm he's sorry he's literally the inventor of like bmx <laughs> the inventor of bmx do you know who that is Basically. i've heard the name yeah, yeah. i've heard the in name the history yeah bob I was just like, before, the BMX. Was the before my time before i've heard my the time name too. for sure if this yeah. is the inventor of bmx that'd yeah. be the sickest so that'd be a great person to yeah yeah. Yeah. Fuck so. yeah and if anyone else could think of anything in the comments below would be a good place to put some people you'd like to see yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. sometimes miss anything as always we're both throw it in there so i i'm a dummy and he's a workaholic so mm -hmm. thinking of new people to do a podcast with sometimes we're like eh. It's definitely hard. It's hard I to get people it, to come to. You know, it's it's funny too because I thought about it recently. I was like, we haven't really been hit up by somebody, and I'm like, oh, winter's coming, and I'm like, mm. oh, when winter yeah. comes, that's when people come to California, start. and that's when we start getting hit up for the podcast. So I'm sure there's going to be some people coming in that we don't we don't expect. Um, but I I followed up with Vic Murphy. He responded and then stopped responding. But I mean, he's down, but he just didn't. I was like send me a date because he said he i was like let's do early december and he was like gave and him anxiety he did, he yeah like, and he like yeah stop responding so um so there's there's ones in the work jeff z like we have a bunch oh jeff of z would be yeah, yeah we have, we have jeff, so that one's too easy come I, on jeff i sent i sent him a text today i was like you never locked in a date with dennis so um lots of stuff in the works and then dude there's actually one thing did i have it here there's where is it what are we looking for? What are we looking for? We're uh, gonna drink it, that it double IPA. I guess it doesn't really matter, but um, a dude from his name was Ryan as well. He sent me uh, a a full length video that Davey Watson made that was like unreleased recently. No, that unreleased from video from back in the day, like Hoder, all Northwest. Oh, sick! And uh, I haven't watched it yet, but I was thinking like we should kick off like, oh, like oh, let's watch a random video. That like, would be type sick. Type stuff, yeah. you know, like so stuff like Nathan's that. Nathan's dropping a part on Friday. Oh yeah. Nathan, yeah. don't fuck around. Sounds Nathan, gonna be yeah, good. Which yeah. is tomorrow. Yeah. So by the time, damn yeah. it! All right, that's the so, first thing on my news list. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, good shit good, always good coming. Works, good and, shit uh, always. Shout coming. out to Garrett for coming again. Yeah, thank uh, you guys dude, for having you're me. Welcome anytime, the best, so. Garrett. Sure. When you drop, I'll fill in for drop. Kyle Carlson any day, bro. Did you hear what he said? It's a war between you two. I heard something. I forget exactly what he said. He was like, "Oh, I mean, you filled me filled me in with the best part garden the planet." So I can accept that, you know. He's so good for this shit for like the Olympic stuff. Except my family calls him the loud guy. He's, literally, he's a loud. Literally, human. Amber again tonight was like, "Is the loud guy coming?" And I'm like, "No." And she's like, "All right, good." So, Kyle, if you're still listening, fuck you. <laughs> good night. Good night, Garrett. You're the man.